Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. And tonight, we're playing some 8-bit games. Woo! More than a couple 8-bit games. A few 8-bit games, to 35, say the least. <laughs> 35 8 8-bit uh... games. And they're all by one person. They're yes. by Vitoko. Yes. A resident viewer of yes. the channel and yes, prolific yes. programmer. Yes for 8-bit games, and they're all part of a 10-line contest that's held every year. Yes. So you make a game in 10 lines, and you submit it to the contest, and people vote on it. That's and there's cool. different categories, but we'll get into that. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help out the show. 8-Bit mm -hmm. Swami, Al Nefer, Arms Guard Coder, Atari Age of 0-6502, Bomberman, BR Pocop, Buck, Owens, Cafe Man, Charles and Chuck, Charles Whelan, Chive, Coconut Dianoid, Dan, Dale, Andrew Darling, Dan, ABC, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, M.U. Dan, Fat, Beavis, Great Offender, I Supposed to Jedica, Johnny W.C. Croc, Carl G. Croco, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mike Sol, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Zarnwood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nostalgia, Pack Rack, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG Ricardo, Pimps, R. Siddle, Smitty B, Spice, Where S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Walsh Man, Tiki Dan Kane, Diki Dan Gay, uh, <laughs> Timothy Lamphere, and Trek MD. And if you want to be on that list, and you're not on the list, or you expect to be on the list, and you're not on the list, your subscription has run out, and you just hit subscribe. And it's free if you have Amazon Prime. You just link them up. Mm -hmm. That cat's chewing cables. Hey! Come on, you. Atari likes to chew cables. Uh, specifically, the, the like, nylon-wrapped cables nylon -wrapped that are braided. Cables. Yeah. Oh, he cannot, He's he cannot resist He's a very bad chewing cat. those cables. Um, and I want to thank everybody who's tuned in tonight. And apparently, uh, Chile is represented tonight. Yes. In the Watchers. Yeah. Um, Miss Command, Carl G, Crossbow, Nostalgic, Alnifer, Metal Lunar, Steps, Caffeman 2D, Dan ABC, F. Katrin, welcome. Bueno, buena, buena. <laughs> buena, F. Katrin. Uh, Steps, Atariado. Uh, who also Phaser is Cat Chilean? Yes. Phaser Cat Games. Uh, who else? Who else? <laughs> who else? Other names. Vitoko, of course, man of the three hours coming up. <laughs> uh, and everybody else who is lurking. Charles yes. Whelan. Oh, and BR Pocock just snuck in. Yeah. That's the tone for <laughs> Buena. Buena. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pesky Robots needs a 2600 port. Somebody did a fake 2600 port and posted it today. A fake? 2600 port of Petsky Robots. So go what? search for it on YouTube. A fake one? Yeah, he had two characters that are in Petsky Robots. Oh, I see. And moved a block around. It was it was, it was was uh, convincing. Convincing, yeah. But he mm. said it's fake. This is not a real game. Uh, I just made yeah. it for fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. I saw that pop up today. Um, uh, in the news, uh, my we only have one news item because we have to get to the game. <laughs> my television has been shipped off. Okay. To Crossbow. Oh. To, to upgrade mm. to much better video quality than RF, <laughs> which is terrible. Excellent. Terrible RF. And uh, yeah, redheaded stepmom says hi, Pixel. Yes. Pixel's in the camera. The camera is a bit different today. Yeah. Because we're showing the 800XL. Which is a because, pull forward from the normal spot. Because Vitoka uh, wanted us wanted to see uh, the keyboard. The key typing. And so I've got the gotcha. cat in the frame, <laughs> and yes. I've got the keyboard in yes, the frame. Yes, because we control where the cat is in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sometimes he hangs. Yeah, out sometimes there. he hangs out there. Yeah. So, how tonight's going to work? There's 35 games. Mm. We're going to have a timer. Okay. And each game, we have five minutes to load and play. And as soon as the five minutes is up, I'm going to, boom, it's shut off. Gotcha. It's going to ring, make a noise, boom, shut off, load. And I've got the loading down to about 15 to 20 seconds okay. for each okay. game. So it doesn't interfere too much. It's got a little bit of lead in, but that's a little okay. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and in that time, we can give our impressions. Okay. Of the game we just played. A quick impression. 15 to 20 second review and then on to the next <laughs> That's one. Right. Okay. That's right. That's um, right. So from Victor's page, this is how he explains 10 line programs. I hope Miss Command just watched the Betsy <laughs> robot. Um, he says 10 liners are small programs written in 10 lines of basic programming language. Okay. 
This concept appeared uh, in 2011 during the NOMAM convention in Lübeck, Germany, mm -hmm. where a contest for small Atari games was conceived. Since then, every year more 8-bit systems have been included. Over 500 programs have been received from all the all over the world in different categories. And those 8-bit uh, systems include uh, the Atari line, the 8-bit, mm -hmm. uh, C64-128, VIC-20, Oric, Tandy, VCS, VIC-20, MSX, BBC Micro, Amstrad, ZX Spectrum, and many, many others. Anything who ha that probably has a basic programming language, mm. which most of them did because that was the popular thing to include in a system so people can make their own games. Mm. Um, so let's take a look a little bit at 10liner. Boom. So this is their website, basic 10liner. Mm -hmm. uh, contest. Nice. I like the um, graphics. Yeah. Out there. So I've Very included nice. that on the side as a fake cartridge there nice. um, of the stream. Excellent. Um, so let's go down to the English rules here. Uh, so legal systems, all 8 bit computer systems, authorized basic dialects, all line oriented basic dialects are allowed with a restriction in the category per PUR 80. And uh, so we'll read out the categories because these come into play when we're going to be playing these games because mm. his will fall into one of these one four of, categories. One of the four. Okay. Um, first one, PUR80. Program a game in 10 lines. Uh, maximum 80 characters per logical line. Abbreviations are allowed. Attention, in this category, only factory built-in basic variants are allowed. So if it came with the system, um, and I think they're allowing... For the Atari, um, I think you had to get it on cartridge originally, basic cartridge. Okay. But in the uh, newer systems, it came built in. So mm. that's the one that they're referring to, is the built in one. Okay. Just like on the C64, you turn it on, it says ready. Yeah. That's basic. Yeah. And that's the one you use. The next one, category PUR120, program a game in 10 lines, maximum 120 characters per logical line. Abbreviations okay. are allowed. So you can use any basic programming language. Any. Okay. And it's extended to 120. So characters. more, more characters. Yeah. And then extreme, 256. As you can guess, 256 characters per logical line. And then there is category uh, shall. I don't know what that stands for or means. Uh, but code program in 10 lines, 256 characters. So same. Per line. Per line. So you have 10 lines, 256 characters. Okay. Uh, the program can be a demo, a tool, or an application. So it's kind of a wild card category. Gotcha. It doesn't have to be a game. It's not a game necessarily. And the other ones are games. Games. Program games. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, and are all the, well, the programs that we're showing today games? I believe they're all games. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're not going to be, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Uh, no, one is not a game. One's a demo. Uh, not a demo. I don't think any of them are demos. Okay. They're not sitting back. They're they're interactive. All oh, of okay. them are interactive. Gotcha. So we'll be able to show them off. Cool. Um, and then there's a bunch of other information there. You're allowed uh, pokes into storage locations mm. because poke was a um, a very specific to the machine because mm. it's putting a value into a location. Okay. Um, directly. Rather than using a basic command, it's more it's more machine languagey, but they're allowing that because is that uh, would you, on the Commodore sixty four would you poke to change colors? Yeah, you can. Like okay. you would say, poke, blah in location blah. Like yes. Color code blah in location blah. Okay. And it could correspond I, to I a, a location. A very small amount of basic programming from my childhood. Because it could correspond to a location on the screen, or it yeah. could correspond to a background color a background color or okay the that's, that's or the border color yes something like that i remember doing that yeah, yeah. way way back <laughs> uh anything else a, a code must be visible all code must be visible in the listing so yeah. self-modifying code or hidden initializations are not allowed so they okay. they have to be able to read it it's there and you can't modify your own code mm. uh which which you you can do like you could poke code into your own mm. listing and they just don't want you to do that gotcha uh and there's no machine program m machine programming at all mm. they allow the pokes but that's it and loading of data or program parts from mass storage is not allowed so you can't look elsewhere you can't have 10 lines of code that just loads a big huge program from somewhere else mm. it all has to be contained that makes sense yeah, yeah. uh that's, that would seem cheaty yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love messing with pokes in my TRS-80 back in the yeah. day, Carl G. Yeah. 
Um, and the rest are just very specific voting to stuff. voting stuff. Mm. Um, so this is the results. They've been running since 2000. Uh, um, what did he say? 2011? I think it goes for, no, 2011. Oh, wow. Um, so 11 years. I think they skipped a year. But anyway, this is the results from 2021. They nice. do it in the spring. Yeah. Um, and the children is one of his. Noxious is one of his. He regularly does very well in, in these. Oh. It's been running for 11 years, uh, 10 editions, and the awards this year were on April 10th, 2021. Nice. Um, and Vitoko, Victor Parada, has come in first place 10 times. Wow. Over, <laughs> over, uh, That's very cool. Yeah, in, and he's only entered in uh, the past six years. Six years, okay. So 10 times in six years. But multiple, obviously, if he, he has different 35 categories. different categories and multiple attempts. Yes. Is that fair to say? Cause... Uh, yes. Yeah. And so this year, he won first place in two categories. Wow. So he's a good, he's, he's decent at it. Very you know? nice. <laughs> and he submitted 35 entries. Hence, we're playing 35 games yeah. tonight. Yeah. Um, so this is his page, and I'm going to uh, copy it so people can check out his page and follow along, download the games. He does mm. have a link at the bottom. I believe that you can download them all at once. Okay. And we're going to be doing that from a menu, so it's the, the same thing. Um, and uh, so you can see all the games that we're going to play here, tons and tons and tons and tons of games, and they're quite a variety. Mm. So you're not going to be playing uh, 35 Shooters. Or 35 maze games or 35 whatevers. Okay. They're all going to be very, very different. Nice. Um, is there a variant of basic that allows... It's treat time. Oh, it's treat time. Atari. Yeah. Carl G, good timing because we oh, want to get it in. Cats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's treat time. It's treat time. <laughs> Before we get started in the games because we're going to be fast and furious. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you will not believe that some of these are only 10 lines. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And we'll be looking at that one of the games midstream uh, and kind of following along because he does commenting, really good commenting on all of his games on his page. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see the breakdown of how he does these in 10 lines. Now, these are not 10 commands. They're, They're 10, 10 lines because yeah. you can concatenate multiple commands uh, commands in one line with colons, apparently in, in Atari Basic. I believe it was semicolon in C64. Atari. Come on, Atari. ring the bell. Ring it. No, you have to ring it. Um, Good that was, kitty. That was, a, that was, that was okay. I'm going to move it away from him. He's having trouble. There's one for you. There's one for you. Good kitty. Good kitty. Okay. So we're going to be, uh, I'm going to put the countdown timer on the screen. Actually, it goes on when we switch over. I believe it's already up. Good kitty. Oh, it is not up. There you go. What is the countdown timer? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's why. There we go. Okay. Right. I've got going. Did you, eat, did you eat pixels too? Yeah, he ate <laughs> pixels too. Of course he did. Oh, Atari. Okay, so... Are we ready? Just, just. Almost? Yeah. One more each. Hit the bell. Um, oh, he's got some other categories Good here. Good kitty. F-R-E-I. Unlimited line length. Machine code is allowed. Category only available. Oh, my goodness. What is this grabbing? What's going on here? There we go. Uh, F-R-E-I. Uh, and there's a wild. Contributions that nuke do not comply with the rules. I'm not sure if he has any. Uh, you scared him. Yeah. Scared the kitty. Are we done? We're Treat done time? with the treats. Okay, yeah, we good. can't give them too much because Atari, you know, he's yes, gets chunky. He gets chunky. Okay. <laughs> he's a chonkers. He um, is. Okay. Uh, Steph says, Tanya, at the end, could you let us know your favorite from the games? Oh, yes. I will let you know That's, my favorites. We will and we'll each go back, probably have. We'll go favorites. back to the favorites. Yes. Sounds like. Okay, so he's compiled them all into one. Mm -hmm. Um. One file. So, um, oh, did it work? Oh, do I still have the paddles installed? Yep. <laughs> it would help if, if the joystick was plugged in. I haven't had a <laughs> definitive answer to this, but could anything happen if mm. you unplug or plug a joystick into a console or computer that's on? 
So if anybody knows. Yay. Okay. We're starting the timer. So the first one is fleas. Nice. There we go. One. Enter. Fleas. Okay. Keep doggy without fleas. Each <laughs> round has more fleas. There are only three rounds. <laughs> one joystick required. So this was his uh, first attempt uh, at a game. He came in fourth out of 22. There's Doggy. Run, run, run from the fleas. And I've seen games like this before where there's bouncing balls and you have to keep keep away from it. Ah, oh, ah, cornered. Ah, oh, ah, whoa. Oh, that's round two. Ah, round three. <laughs> 795. Very nice. So let's read a little oh bit about God. fleas. You're the DVD symbol and you have to run from that's corner right. to corner. That's right. Boom. Ah, ah. You got me. Uh, we are playing this. Uh, these are all Atari 8-bit games. And we're playing it on an 800XL. As you can see right here. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, looks like he bites the flea. <laughs> the dog is so cute, by the way. Is he a Scottish terrier? He Well, n he could be a Scotty. He reminds me of... He reminds, he's definitely a terrier. But, uh, oh my goodness. And the fleas are great, too. The shape of the fleas. Ah, okay. poor pup. Yeah, they're good flea shape. Yeah. Good flea color. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. Gross. Wear your wear vibes. Yeah. Ah, um, I think ah. a lot of them are going to feel like mini games. They are, for because, sure. Because, ah. oh, well, much that was, worse. That was a much better score. What? No, you had I'd, 700 your first time. And, uh, how, and what's my score oh, now? Oh, uh, <laughs> the camera was in the way. <laughs> um, so, press the joystick button oh, to begin. Oh, Togo says no sound from the computer. Oh, sorry. Okay, play again. Uh, play again. Oh, yeah, there's there are some noises. Ah! <laughs> Run away! Move the dog around the garden, trying not to be caught by a flea. You cannot move by the edge. Round one is four <laughs> fleas. When doggy is bitten by a flea, uh, the round ends. Round two is a bit slower than the previous one, but has five hungry fleas. Keep moving around. Round three has six fleas lurking. The game is over when the third bite of a flea occurs. The score will be greater the longer you stay without being bitten. Oh my goodness. Oh, ah, ah. so many fleas. Oh, you just, just. I know. Just escaped that. Now, oh, 1652. Wanna try? Uh, yep. Yep, you want to try? Uh, no. Two minutes left? Oh, two minutes left. Yeah, you, can, got you, you can play it pretty quick. So what was your top score? Uh, 22.44, I think. Okay. Oh, got, got cornered. Oh, come on! Is this Vice or a real 64? Uh, neither. neither. <laughs> oh, 878. Atari 800. Atari 800XL. 800 XL. I'll play one more, and then I'll read out some stats on... Mm -hmm what the basic he was using for this. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're, you're doing pretty good. Oh, God. The third, yeah, when it, when it gets down to like six fleas. It's just full. Yeah. The screen is so full of fleas. Yeah. Sometimes they'll coordinate. Their redness. Oh, yeah. Not bad, not yeah. bad. All right, one more. One minute. All right. One minute left. Um, it's interesting. So, so one of my rounds only had three fleas. Oh. At the beginning. Really? Yeah. This mm. one has four. Found a, found a bug. Oh, they may have been on top <laughs> of each other. <laughs> Very funny. I found a bug. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they may have been on top of each other. Oh, that's true. That is that so is. So this is written in Turbo Basic XL. Okay. Um. I saw the three fleas yeah. as well. Uh, Turbo Basic gives better memory, me memory management, not just peek and poke. Ah, ah, uh, ah. Fitoko says. <laughs> Jelly be good. Welcome yep. to the show. Rooting for the fleas. For Get him. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's so cute. Look at this. Oh, oh that was chomp. terrible, terrible starting round. 
He's such a cute dog. So there's dog. a huge write-up for every game. Love it. So I cannot uh, read through all I of it. I can't in read time. through all of it. Yeah, we're down yeah. to three seconds. Oh. Reset. All right, next one. So the next one is. Invaders. So I'm guessing you can guess what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Turbo Basic XL. It shows you which uh, which uh, basic it is. You can do anything. Oh, you hear the noise? It's, it's loading, loading up. Oh, I didn't yes. know that's what that meant. Yeah. I was smack, smack, smack. It's all new to us. Invaders. Kill all the invaders before they reach the Earth. Just one chance. Win or die. So, obviously, space invaders. But... There's no no brick to no brick to save you to save you ah. or to prevent you from shooting, which is also good. Ah. <laughs> um, so Need if you think about it, you have to to get this in ten lines. You have to have all the code. Oh, that's it! Oh. <laughs> wow, all one one death. You get one death. Yeah, only one life. You have to do all the code, all the graphics. All the movement, all the hit detection, um, setting up the board, detecting when a person, uh, uh, the game ends, both good and bad, because there's going to be uh, a possibility of playing a winning game in this. No score, just 10 lines. Well, the score would be clearing the board. I'll give you a hint. You should really clear out the left and right side oh. or they're going to smash into you very soon. The left and right side. Because every time a space invader hits the right or left side, it goes down one. Oh! Because they're going to be at the bottom in no time. But if you oh, clear out the left see, and right I don't side... Play, I don't play space invaders. There you go. Now you have a bit more time before it hits the sides. I didn't realize that was the tactic. Carl G says, it's hard to imagine just defining the graphics in 10 lines. That is true. Because... Well, what you could do is... Oh, I don't even know how you do that. I guess we'll take a look on how you define graphics in just 10 lines of code. Because you wouldn't want to go 1, 0, 0. You wouldn't want to do it in binary. You, you would do it in hex. That's how you do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> you have to wait for it to go all the way to the uh, top. Oh, swoosh. so close. So close. Game starts immediately. Oh, press return. Game starts immediately. Invaders don't wait. Aliens move across the screen as they advance towards the bottom of the screen. Use the joystick to move the cannon left or right. Shooting aliens, avoiding a hit by their ammo. Aliens move faster as more of them are defeated. You win the game if you destroy all the aliens before they reach the bottom. You lose the game if your cannon is destroyed or the invaders reach the earth. It's a text mode. Uh, that's how you draw the. Um... Oh, you mean. Well, you have to define the enemies. Like those are not built-in text, so these those would be altered. Uh, uh, ah! right, right into it, altered character set. Yeah. Um, and then you would say, you know, the first aliens an A, ah, and the second sense. aliens a B, and uh, each line you would pick a different color, and then you would just move them. Character by character. Ah. Ah. Um, after the first version was ready, I thought about another game that could be simplified in a 10-liner, but this time I wanted to use players and missiles. I never used them before in BASIC. Without machine language USR routine, I got from Analog Magazine. So this uh, was in the PUR 120 category, um, written using, using Turbo Basic XL 1.5. Uh, this took eight days to program, and it's actually amazing how uh, quickly he is able to write these games, too. And this got first place uh, in uh, out of 22 games. That's amazing. Mike Soul says, respect. I'm not sure if you're allowed to jump to routines in ROM. Wouldn't, wouldn't it break the rules? Mm. Seems like it would break the rules. You mean like set up a machine language routine? Well, you're not allowed to do machine language. 
So you wouldn't be able to define a machine language um, routine to jump to, a joystick input routine. Because that's what I remember programming in C64, and that was always the one that they would program in, in machine language. All right. Is, um, is the joystick handling routine. Okay. Ready? Number three. Number three is Where's My Cheese? Does this involve the mouse? Uh, and this came in first place as well. Ooh. This is from a uh, 2016 entry in the category Extreme 256. So this mm. uses more characters. Oh, difficulty, return equals random. <laughs> we'll do random. <laughs> and it's doing some numbers, doing some Ooh, calculation. Calculating. Eight is a fine number for the level. Oh, okay. So this might be very hard. Okay, um, set the desired level uh, related to the size of the maze. The level 30 is nine. Yes, we're ready. 960 selves to walk through. I believe this is a first person maze, so start moving. Left or right. I think you're facing a wall. There you go. Uh, choose if you want only a single path to solve the maze. Extra paths could help the way to find the cheese. Or it might create loops. If you're in front of a wall, you must turn right or left. You can turn by moving the joystick to the side, moving the joystick up to go forward. You cannot step back without rotating 180 degrees. Trust your instincts and choose the way you prefer. If there's a long path in front of you, you'll see nothing but a dark zone. Sometimes you may find dead ends and have to turn around. If you're lucky, you may find the cheese. Go and eat that deli delicious piece of cheese. <laughs> so really, you're a mouse in a maze trying to find cheese. When you get the cheese, the total time taken for the search is displayed. You can select a new difficulty and start another search. So this took him uh, 10 days total to do this game. Uh, let's see. I've completely lost my position. I oh, had, I had it memorized for a certain period of time. But Carl G says, Dad. I hate 3D mazes, but this is impressive for the size. It looks for sure. amazing. I was thinking about that today because I was watching some compilation of 8 bit games. And one of them, a, a lot of early uh, adventure games were presented in first person maze perspective. And then, you know, an enemy would pop up as a graphic. And I, I really do not like first-person stepping mazes, like do, 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 like that. Ones where you move smoothly through them are a bit better, but I just get lost. That's the, oh, dead end. I just get lost so easily. I do too, and I am totally lost. Left get that right. cheese. Hmm. One line per day seems like typical development. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You lost. Mm. Not going to go down that long, long passage? No, I might. There's no enemies. It's just cheese. <laughs> You're just a mouse. A mouse. Oh. oh. So. Oh, so I'm so lost. Let's. I think I. Yeah. Read. <laughs> I don't know if you can quit the game. Well, the. The timer and will go off over. at some point. Yeah, you've got one minute left. That's okay. Who knows um, what level of complexity. It's neat, though. It looks great. I think this actually draws faster than mazes in some early Ultima games. It's, it's instant. Instant drawing. It's like super, super fast. I'm guessing would like to see the, the walls cheese. are drawn with text. Text modes. And not, and maybe the cheese is the only thing that's. Oh, one minute left. You can do it. Find that cheese. Follow the walls. Dead end again. Are you not going down the long passages? I am. Oh, okay. I just. Every time you see one, it just. These turn. these look oh, so no. familiar. I can't tell if I'm going <laughs> just going round and round on the same ones over and over again, or. Yeah, the varying colors are a, a, the perfect effect. Really where, nice. Where it shows you depth yeah. through um, through the different, like the darker shades as it goes further and further because it's like, oh, you have a lantern or something. Very, very good effect. Um, I 
I see no cheese, though. Oh, no. Is it possible to not have a uh, solvable? Oh, this game uses a graphics mode. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Nope. Let uh, me know if that beeping's we'll to too loud. Cheese. Yeah, we'll have to try it on level one, <laughs> which is hopefully just a circle or <laughs> one yeah. path and a cheese, a cheese at the end. So the next game is for alpha versus numeric. And this one. BHZC, you are in a, a maze of twisty passages <laughs> all, all alike. alike. Yeah. <laughs> this one got seventh place in 22 categories in nice. 2016. Um, press the start key to play. Uh, the game starts with a group of letters and numbers. The more number, letters and numbers appear during the game, uh, each time will be faster. I bet you have to type it. Type the leftmost character from the alphabet lines and the rightmost digits what? from the number lines to remove them. Zero, zero, oh, six, Oh, I H. see. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Where are we? <laughs> Um, a progress bar will increase while the characters are removed. When 200 characters are removed, the battle is over. So you're at 30. Every new battle will start with more characters on both sides of the screen. This is a great typing learning game. Yeah, it is. This I'm one I would have numbers, loved though. to learn, <laughs> love to use to, to learn how to type. Terrible at numbers. They're, Are like, you? I type a lot, but I, I I always end up looking for the numbers, which is really kind of sad. But. So this one took four, took him four days to make. Oh my god. Uh, Turbo Basic XL. Uh, this was in the 120 category. How good is Tanya at typing? Oh, thank you for following, uh, Jose Fina Constantine. Oh my goodness, this oh. is crazy. Oh, you beat... Did you go to the next level? Or is it just adding it's up? It's going insane. Oh, you're not even at the next level, actually. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 it's punishing you. Oh, no! It's punishing <laughs> If you press the wrong ones. Yeah, you can't. Oh, uh, you can't do that. Can't cheese it. My turn. Okay, I. you know what? You have to sit in the middle because I... You, um, it's not too bad in the beginning. I'm terrible with the numbers, though. I have to look at the numbers. I can type. I can touch type fairly easily. <laughs> Cleared. Well, yeah, they built up before I started, so. Did they? Oh, yes. I guess. Yeah, because you were talking before you told me how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to start it from the beginning. So slow. So slow. Oops. Yeah, and the apparently numbers are hard. you can't just mash them. That's that's no. not a good way of doing it. Don't make it angry. <laughs> oh no, it's Oh yeah, it gets really bad when you type the wrong ones. Yeah, the the numbers are hard because you don't usually type numbers. So it's Is it the innermost letter? Yeah, the ones on the innermost, yeah. On the no. on the middle of the screen or on the outside edge of the screen? Inside edge. Oh, I wasn't Oh, that's funny. What do you mean by inside edge? One closer to the middle. The middle. Yes. So the middle. Yes. The middle. That's all you had to say. Inside. Inside edge. I'm terrible at that. Oh, that's God. Good for teaching me numbers. <laughs> I, don't type, up I don't type up the number. Type. Uh... Oh, God. One nine one three two eight zero. Nine. Get your letters. Your letters nine. are building up. The good thing is that it gets rid of multiple letters. Multiple at yeah. once. Did I win? Oh my god! I won first round. Woo! And the good thing is that there's no confusion between zero and O mm. because they're on opposite sides. Mm. How much time do we have left? 34 seconds. Oh. Doing well. Oops. It gets pretty hectic. This is not the best position for the keyboard for typing. No, it's not a good typing. <laughs> That's okay. 
don't think ah. this one will get a 5200 port. <laughs> <laughs> And it works well that way mm. on the inside because they're never replaced, right? Mm. If you did the outside, then. All right. Next. Next one. <sighs> this next one is M star N puzzle. M -star. It's a sliding puzzle. Uh, so I believe it's joystick. Okay. Um, and you go up, down, left, right to slide the pieces all over the place. Okay. Press the button to shuffle the selected puzzle. You use the joystick to move shuffle. a piece to the empty space. Up moves moves the piece that is below the space. So press the button. Okay. Put them in order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So oh. A to the top, then B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Oh, oh. oh. Right? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, I get it. So this got 7th place out of 46 in 2016 in the PUR80 category. So this is the smallest line count. Reduce the size to 3x3. Three three. How do you do that? It just said, oh, select the size using the joystick. How do you end the game? <laughs> we, we messed up already. Yeah, 3x3 three three would have been better, but... We'd have to reload it, probably. Uh, or can you fail out? I don't think you can fail out of this. Oh, press the button. Try press the button. No. No, you can, only when you complete it. Break, then run. Okay. Then run. Ah, do I have to type run? There we go. So use the joystick to reduce it to three. Three by three. There you go. Now you have a fighting chance of completing it. So uh, he says, I was thinking of s for some days about a game that should fit in the PRR 80 category. Finally, I sat down on February 26th in front of an editor and started. The game took me about a half an hour programming to confirm that it shouldn't fit in 800 bytes of abbreviated basic code. It took less than 400. By the way, I used my own tool to parse the basic code and create abbreviated listing for the Atari. Then I spent more than three hours through the following days adding sound and special effects and the routine to select the size of the puzzle. Initially, the size was required using input and arranging the code to follow the rules of the contest. Finally, while writing this page, which took me many hours, I found, yay! Now you have to do four, four by three, four? Four by three. Or four, oh, okay. You could do a four by three. Just to add one or that. <laughs> there you go. did it yeah because they're basic you can just press break it'll break out of the program and then you type run and it'll start it from scratch makes sense thank you so much vitoko eight by two yeah that'd be annoying <laughs> be a long column um so vitoko said one of his games only took nine lines of code. I don't know which one it is. Uh, I'm sure he'll it'll say in the write up of it. Okay, so let's go to. Um, Almost done. Yep. There's like no time to talk. <laughs> so so crazy fast. I've used three different flavors of BASIC. Atari BASIC, the original cartridge, which is embedded in the ROM and the XEL XE computers. Turbo BASIC XL, a German enhancement that speeds up the running and provides some useful statements and structured program for flow control. And Fast BASIC, a new and even faster BASIC interpreter for A8 machines with a pseudo compiler approach, which also provides advanced statements useful for games and it does not use line numbers. For example, no go-to statement in it, structured programming only. Mm. 10 rem. This is a comment. <laughs> Nine li lines re leaves room for one comment. That's true. Yeah, this is uh, amazing in the fact that you, you almost have two separate programs. One for showing the... for setting it up with the joystick, how many lines across and down there is. 
And then one for playing it and moving it. I'm sure there's some common code you could do. Oh, you're so close. Got 11 seconds left. <gasps> yeah! And time to spare with four <laughs> seconds left. Oh, you guys can't hear the timer go off. Because I have to mute and unmute things depending mm. on what's playing. So sometimes I forget to... Thank you, thank you. Unmute things. I do like I do like puzzle games. <laughs> yes, that's true. Oh, you could hear. Oh, the you could hear it probably through, through the, the speakers. Through the yeah. speaker, yeah. You'll hear it much clearer now. <laughs> okay, surround. I believe this is a two-player game. We found Tanya's game. <laughs> we yeah. eventually, eventually, we would find one that I wasn't too bad at. <laughs> uh, yes, two players. joystick oh start is one player select two player option zero player well let's play two player two player at first okay Surround. ready i am oh uh, it's a worm game green tanya's orange oh taking the top approach huh oh it gets faster oh boy <gasps> you <laughs> cut me off <laughs> Oh, into the wall. Sorry, I didn't quite time that up right. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's keeping score. Nice. Oh. Let's see this oh, no! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> <laughs> plays to. Oh. Infinite. Oh, what's going on here? Put that girl's picture on a Wheaties box. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. you have to time it. Yeah, like, you do. Because uh, it's... Oh, it's being... You have to do it a just bit before you mean to move. That's true. Oh, <laughs> not too early, though. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. I uh, don't know what it goes to. We're going to get you to play as single player. Okay. Maybe it's nine. Let's see. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, nice. Do we go back to... Yep. Okay. You're playing the computer now. Am I? Yep. Oh, I'm I'm green. Oh. <laughs> no, so... no, I'm not. What is going on here? Oh, is maybe it's zero, zero player? players. Yeah, this is definitely zero. I'm like, no, nothing's happening. Uh, I like, I like the intro start. screen. Yeah, he's got an intro screen too, uh, main screen. So this was in 2017. This placed six out of 19 entries. Uh, it's using Turbo Basic XL. This is in the PUR 120 category. Um, it took three days for him to make it. Try to surround your opponent with your trail. The first one that wins nine rounds wins the match. Um, let's see what else he's got. Surround 2600, one of the nine launch titles. Ah. Fatoko is such a fine ambassador. I had to come, Rod, Rod Castle, Castler said. Oh yeah, he's, he's won so many of them. He's, he's a great example to talk about the 10, ten, line, uh, ten liner contest. Which one are you? Orange? Orange, Again? yeah. Sometimes okay. it doesn't respond super well. Just have to do it early. Oh, my God. Oh! Trapped himself. How smart is the computer? I mean, not... As the trail gets longer, the faster the movement is. You can start a round moving in any direction. Of course, no diagonals are allowed. Um... Back in 1985, I was at a friend's house with my 800XL for some days. We had many games to play in turns, and probably one, only one or two games that we could play against each other. We were called the Atari 2600 VCS days when we could play combat, video Olympics, and surround among others. We wish we had a console there, but we, as we couldn't, I tried to program a simplified version of surround using Atari Basic. In a couple of hours, we were playing and laughing tons. I added an intro screen and named it Babosa. 
because that is the Spanish name for a slug. And the slug leaves a trail behind it. I think also you might want to hold it down longer too, because the input time might be only looking for a at a specific mm -hmm. point Push in and time. Hold. Yeah, because basic is very slow as opposed to machine language, so it's like, is she pressing? Nope. Okay. And, and then it doesn't register. Ooh. Oh, you're done. And done. Very nice. Very nice. So, what do we have next? It is Don't Go, which is a paddle game. Here's your paddles. Grab the paddles. Mm -hmm. Seven. Two paddles. Oh, why is this a mess? Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah. Okay, you should be able to start with the button. Now we played this Are on I? the 2600. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is not an easy game. Just have to get used to the sensitivity. Um, because Vitoko did a port for the 2600 for this game. Oof. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Get this off my lap. Hold on. So this was in uh, 2017. Uh, came in sixth out of 26 entries. Tanya has played this on the 2600. Do you remember I have, it? yes. Uh, with a paddle controller, try to keep the ball within the screen as much as you can. Ah! The ball will start moving slowly to one of the corners. Use this time to get used to your surrounding pads. No kidding. All of them move at the same time, half of them in opposite directions. That's the tough part of this game. It's the mental, yeah. the mental hurdle of the, the when, moving. When the ball hits a pad, it will bounce with a new random speed and angle, and the bounce's counter will increase. Follow the ball or try to predict where it'll go and put a pad there. If the ball goes out of the screen, the game is over. Your final score is the number of hits you had. Uh, development of the game. I like Pong style games. I used to play Video uh, Olympics, Warlords, and Breakout on my old 2600. Warlords is awesome. All of them are one thing in common. Common Paddle controllers. Once I thought about a self-pong game where one could play against himself. Yes, I was bored and found somehow uh, difficult to handle two paddle controllers at the same time. If one paddle controlled both sides of a pong game instead of left versus right, the point should be the number bounces. Its name could be self-pong. <laughs> that idea, old idea in my mind, I figured out a program for no ma'am contest. In the process, another idea came into my mind. What if instead of walls, I also added pads on the top and the bottom? Now it could be named Quadrapong or something like that. But I immediately noticed a problem. If all the pads move clockwise or counterclockwise at the same time, the corners would be the weak point. The solution would be simple, to move horizontal and vertical pads to the corner at the same time. That introduced another degree of difficulty or challenge. It could be like rub the tummy, pat the head at the same time, yes. which it is. 15. I did 40 last time. <laughs> it was much better. Pixels hanging out, missing the nice, warm oh. XES, XEGS pillow. Yeah. Oh. It's not on the floor Okay, my turn. All right. Pong for one. Pong for one. Oh, it gets so fast. Right away. Possibly. No, it bounces. It depends on the bounce. Certain bounces, it goes faster. Yeah, he says it, it's just random. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, you can catch it. You can, because it goes past the paddles. So as long as you touch it, yeah, it's fine. It's, so you, you, there's a little bit of forgiveness, which is actually kind of nice. Ah. Yeah, it is a rub. It is. It is, it is. Cause you have to reverse your thinking every time. I know. It's like, what wall is it? Ah, up, down, up, down. It's pretty much almost like every four, every four paddles constantly, every mm -hmm. round. It's like, okay, bottom, mm -hmm. left, right, top, left, bottom, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it didn't go to the top this time, so almost. Oh, you beat me, 42. My first go. <laughs> Well, we have both played this before, so. Yes. 50, very good, very good. I think once your brain wraps around it, it's, it's not, not so it's, It only bad. goes so fast. 
Uh, and I've and I think I've encountered the fastest one already. So yes. I think unless it's like in a corner and I move the wrong way. Yes, that's, that's the only time that's I'm when you fail. kind of or you move a little too fast. That's what I find if I if I move a little too fast, I don't get under it like that. Oof. So, did you ever do any basic programming? Me? Yes. Yeah. Um, for my Commodore 64. Was it in gymnastics computer camp? Gymnastics mm. computer camp. Yes, it was. <laughs> I, I, uh, it was, um, I didn't do a lot, but I did have a Commodore 64. And then uh, one uh, March break, my parents signed me up for the YMCA's um, like summer program. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be a paddle, I don't think. No. Uh, and they had different ranger. sessions in the morning, the afternoon. You got to choose what you wanted. Gymnastics, computer camp. So I took computer programming in the morning and gymnastics in the afternoon because that's what I wanted to do. So okay, we called go. it um, let go. Let go. gymnastics computer camp. <laughs> let go. It was a lot of fun. Go. Not only did I learn to program in basic, but I did a cartwheel on the beam for the first time. So oh, that was really cool. good. Yeah. Uh, pre wait some seconds and your pilot ca pilot cabin will appear. Press the fire button to start the mission. Your mission is to find and destroy the enemy's small fleet. Hmm. Press the button. Uh, the radar will guide you to them. In doing? front is the enemy far away. You might see a point if it's in front of you. The more time you take to find it, the more power of yours will be used. While the enemy is in front of you, you'll be able to catch it. If the enemy is not in front of you, you might escape. I'm very if, confused. If the enemy, the enemy ship is close to you, the sight, gun sight will blink in green. That, then you can fire and destroy the enemy. Some power is used every time you fire your short-range lasers. Use the only, only when required, or you spend all your power cells. Be careful, if you didn't hit it in a few seconds, it will send you a wave attack that will damage your shields and require some power to be repaired. If you destroy the complete enemy fleet, your score is the remaining power. If you run out of energy, you will lose the game. Okay, I'm confused by the screen at the bottom. That's your radar, so I'm guessing you have to put it in the center. So you have to steer towards it. Well, now I'm very confused about what direction. You're moving up, so I'm good. Keep moving yeah, up. but it... That would be the opposite. I'm pushing up. Well, it's like a plane. No. It's so not. it's kind of to the left, so move left or right to get it to the center. Now it is, but the up and down was weird. It was doing the opposite of what I was expecting. So this game came in first place in 2017 it's Extreme 256. There we go. <laughs> Vitoko says yes, lots of circles. A Turbo XL circle here. Turbo Basic is so much better. Do you think you could have done without it, Vitoko? Inner circle. Oh, come on. Oh, you got me. Zap. Oh, he's going to fire again. Zap. I'm going to die soon. <laughs> fire, fire. Yeah. Oh. Three targets left or three targets shot? In a small uh, uh, talk with another Atari fan, I explained the restrictions I found developing Turbo Basic 10 liners. One of them was the number of sprites that could be managed at the same time without slowing the, down the game too much to make it boring or unplayable. Another one was the actual speed of the sprite. It, if it's slow by definition, it would be okay for a basic program. And one example of it was a simplified version of Star Raiders without the stars. Said that, I wrote a small prototype that moves an enemy ship from a far distance to a near distance using a couple of bitmaps for a player, PM Graphics. The technique I used to display the enemy was not to remove the bitmap from the previous vertical position of it over its PM area, and then put the bitmap again in the new position. Instead of that, I defined buffers with the bitmap over my head. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Come two here. two targets left. Oh. Lots of details for just a few lines of code. <laughs> no kidding. Like, look at. Need a story. He said lots of circles. So I'm guessing you draw it with with um, like it's not like the cockpit's obviously not stored as bitmap graphics. It'd be stored as lines and circles. 
And I remember um, typing in code from magazines or books, like it was a book on basic, right? And it would be a book or a magazine that would be a... cross-platform. Yeah. So it would be for Atari, it would be for Commodore, and I would have a Commodore. It would be for a bunch of different platforms. My dad had a subscription to Compute's Gazette. Yeah. So I know, I remember, I remember doing a little bit. Get it, quick! No, it's, it's, it's last done. one! Last one! Get it! Uh, no! Yeah! yeah. Give you a couple extra seconds. Time! <laughs> yeah, well, gotta get that last one. Um, but whenever it came to the yes. Commodore 64, mm. and it had graphics like that, it'd be like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> because it didn't have that kind of stuff built into its yeah, basic. Yeah, yeah. It didn't, it couldn't... Um, it couldn't do anything too complex. No. Um, it could only do simple stuff, so it's like, no, you have to skip it for C64. <laughs> Metal Lunar says, I typed a few for magazines. I saved some from them. I always had typos. <laughs> or the magazine had typos, which is yes. so frustrating. Yeah. So this is Minipede. It starts right away. All these games usually do. Oh! Well, some of them don't, actually. Um, kill the caterpillars before they reach the bottom of the garden. Be careful. They can eat you. The, the great thing about <laughs> uh, computers, because I look at this and I go, oh my god, you could never do this on a, a 2600. <laughs> because of all the things that are on the screen and how much memory it would take up. Yeah. Unless you had extra memory, but like the basic... <laughs> to give it a bit of lead time. No. It's like you have to keep track of all these mushrooms, <laughs> position of you, position of the shot, position of the enemy. Ah, oh, move up me. and down. Move up and down. I can? Yep. Oh, and the game over. Look at that. That's, That's awesome. Nice. Press the button. Do you want to? Sure. I'm going to I'm gonna get a drink. Be right back. Oh, I have to press. Time for beer. <laughs> Start. Space bar. Oh, my goodness. Space bar. Oh, shoot. No mushrooms. That's it. Oh, it's like Space Invaders. By the time your shot gets to the top, the thing's already moved. Ah! Ah! And you have to wait for it to reload. Ah. So you can move up and down a bit. This is amazing for 10 lines. Unbelievable. I didn't get to read which entry this was put into. Um, I'm guessing it's one of the long, bigger entries, because this is, this is amazing. I mean, the graphics are very, very small, um, so that wouldn't take up too much room. There we go. Got him. Do you have the score at the top? You've got number of lives, I'm guessing? So it's definitely not level. Definitely not on level five. I guess a good tactic is to go right to the top. he goes to the bottom and I can go back up oh 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 it's how many are left how many uh, mini peeds are left this is such a cute game it is so cute is because the sprites the are so are the, great. not the sprites but the the characters are so small yeah he's getting yes makes, makes it so detailed does he go back up he just exits oh oh he becomes... so you have X rounds to play oh so you just dodge oh my god him. Oh, and so you're trying so to maximize your score. Ah! Nope. Not gonna get him. Hi, cats. It's a shame you can't shoot sideways. You only get fed once per hour. You like treat time? Oh, Tari looked at me. Did he? Yep. He went. said treat? Yep. They said treat time. They learn so fast. Oh, last one. Damn it. Missed him. You keep missing the last okay, one. Okay, your turn again. Yeah. What? No, no, you're still playing. I gotta read stuff. I haven't even read anything about this game. I guess people at home could read it. Oh my god, it's like going straight to the bottom because of all the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Game over. There you go. Shall I get one more in? About equal to many cart games of the era, for okay. sure. Okay. Uh, space bar. Oh, yeah, that worked. Um, so this was for 2017. Uh, this is the PUR 120 category. It came in first. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> Not surprising, because it's so well done. It plays really, really well. 
I really appreciate appreciate the code listings. Reading and modifying those type in games is how I learned to program. Yeah, because you could analyze the code and understand it, especially if they um, commented on it. And Vitoko commented on every line of his code, and it's very, very detailed. So if you want to learn Atari Basic, Vitoko is a really good place to go for it. I mean, it would be more complex than other, um, yeah, um, other listings because, um, because he's compacted things down. So this was in the same year. This is called Decipede. Or, yeah, Despi. Uh, this came in second yeah. in the category of Extreme 256. And this took seven days to make. The other one took five days to make. Time! <laughs> also hit the mushrooms to clean the zone. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It gets bad. Like I'm... you saw at the end of my game, it was just like... Oh. This is Chunky. Chunky. Chunky Millipede. Chunky Centipede. Moves a little slower, which makes it a little bit easier, but it's also... Bigger, which means it doesn't oh, take as long. Oh, the mushrooms twice to. Oh. Um, oh my goodness! You can they they split in half. Do they multiply? Good job. When the game starts, your player is located at the bottom. There are many mushrooms on it. Uh, a caterpillar would appear at the top. Every time you hit it, the caterpillar might shrink a bit or split into two mini caterpillars. Mushrooms appear every time you hit a caterpillar, and when the caterpillar steps down, when it goes away, or when you clear a row of mushrooms. Oh, if you clear a row of mushrooms. Uh, more mushrooms appear? It's a lot Gosh, of mushrooms. there's so many mushrooms. The game is over when the caterpillar eats you, or when five caterpillars go away. This is a Brazilian one. Is it? What? Brazilian caterpillar? <laughs> <laughs> um... This is the second part of the story I wrote in Millipede. When Kevin told me he was satisfied with Minipede instead of trying to split the version again, I was convinced that something interesting could be done. The slow code between one and two Caterpillar versions was a fact. The code was the same for both prototypes, but in the second one, I added a four next loop to manage both Caterpillars, one of it at a time, half the speed. Four Caterpillars to go. So many mushrooms, it just goes straight to the bottom. Split. Good job. Yeah, I had um, Ahoy magazine. Ahoy. Which was a Commodore Sounds 64. Fancy. Yeah. It's, you know, Commodore being a nautical uh, term. How about Ahoy. Five? It seems to still say four. Oh, it's still four. It's still four. So hmm. maybe I've hit the max? What's interesting, it chews through. Um, Just keep going until you die. I guess so. Well, that's four lives, maybe. And it would have machine language and basic programs in it. And I would type in both of them. There was always oh errors goodness. that they would go, Oops, last issue. We had a typing mistake. That's why your program never worked. <laughs> oh my god. Nightmare. All these games were made in just 10 lines of basic code. Yep, just 10 lines. That's crazy. Um, here, I'll, I'll um, post the link again for you. You got me. Oh, I kind of over. ran into one, but that's okay. <laughs> start. Start. How do you restart? Mm. Ah, option. Select. Start. Return. Oh, probably the button. <laughs> um, so, I will post this page for people joining us just now. We're going to call this the Atari 8-Bit Minigames. Yep. Atari 8-Bit Minigames show. I need to build that joystick of yours. This one is a beautiful joystick. It's Bratwurst. Bratwurst. And I was watching um, another uh, video. It was Retro Boys. Okay. Retro Boys? Yeah. And they were thinking about using this shell. Oh, yeah. To start building joysticks for them. Oh. And like drilling out the holes for different joysticks. And I was like, oh, well, it's a good, it's a good shell. But apparently, you can just pick these shells up. Oh, really? Um, and people just make them. But they're completely encased, right? So you drill the holes where you want and make it into whatever you want. It's a very, very solid um, uh, joystick. Uh, 
what else is to say about this. Um, so he did this game with, uh, in a partnership with Kevin Savetz. Um, like I said, it was took seven days. And I got second place. And you are... Done! Done! That's probably a little bit loud. <laughs> Danny VC says, oh, I remember typing printing programs from a magazine for the TI-99 4A. Mm -hmm. Now we're on to sketch paddles, which we use paddles for. Let's switch them out. That is not the one. That's the one. Let's put that aside. Two paddles? This one actually uses two paddles. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Tariado, I love paddles. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this is not a game, and it's a sketchy sketch. Oh, and it shakes. Wow, very nice. Um, use your paddles to draw in this Etch-a-Sketch etch simulator. Save your art and restore it later. When the game starts, a straight line may appear from one edge uh, to the location where your paddles point to. Move the paddles to learn how to use them. Then select a starting location where your art will begin. Press the Start key or any of the paddles buttons to clean the screen. Draw whatever you want. Remember that you're using a continuous line. No skips are available. When finished, press any number to save your art into the disc inserted into drive one. We can't do that. Um, be sure that it is not write protected because I don't think the AVG card allows writing. I may be wrong. 8K per file number. Warning, if you saved a second piece of art using a number on the used on the disc, the old image will be overwritten and lost. To load a previously saved art, press shift and the number you're using uh, for that image in the disc. To start a new piece of art, press start or any one of the paddles. So the story. When I was a kid, I played with a toy called etch -a sketch And it came into my mind, I was thinking for a paddle game that it could be used to programming ten, basic ten lines. It could be fun to use two paddles at the same time. Oh, is it a tree? Kind of. <laughs> kind of a tree. Phaser Cat Games says, I used to do this in Apple Basics low res mode. Wonder if this would work better on driving controllers instead of paddles. I guess it would. Yeah, because, well, paddles are absolute position on the screen. Like, and driving controllers, I mean, it would work just as well. Driving controllers continuously spin. It would be about the same, I would think. Yeah cool shake effect this is not a game but a toy the toko says two paddles now um the first prototype was easy to program just a single loop checking for paddles and paddle zero paddle one registers and perform a draw two that coordinates as i was using graphics mode eight without text box i got a monochrome screen of 320 by 192 light gray background black lines red margin just like the original toy good no bad, because paddles use a range from 0 to 228. That is less than the width of the screen. So it's impossible to stay over some columns. Uh, and that was not all. Artifacting. Black and white NTS screen full of vertical lines displays pink and green areas. Ah. What are you trying? I don't know. <laughs> uh, to bypass both problems, I changed the graphics to mode 15, and the screen becomes 160 by 192. Both values, oh, yay, let's save it. <laughs> yay, we saved it. Maybe. Yay. <laughs> it pretended to save it. Uh, How do you load it again? Let's see. Nice. To load, oh, so, it, so shake it. Oh, it disappears. It's very cute. <gasps> it did save Thank it. Thank you, F. Katrin. <laughs> yes. It saved it. Oh, nice. Yay, yay. you can shake, shake it again. Um, the code was really short as, and as I lost some really nice drawings during my test I wanted the add ability to save the art and load it again later so uh, this took 18th place well they didn't like us <laughs> they wanted games um, in out of 26 in the PUR 80 category this is, this is amazing for 80 um, 80 times 10 but I guess you're not really storing anything in like every all the graphics are 
you make them. So you don't have to store graphics. Um, you have to store it in memory, but that's not part of the 10 lines. <clears throat> I didn't know that this saved, that this could write to the cartridge. Hmm. Learn something new all the time. Because I knew um, this could. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was fun. I'm not very good at etch a sketch. So. Block letters is about as good as I get. <laughs> next one is Oruga. Mm. Number 12. You can hold that for me. That's good. And plug it in, actually. <laughs> So, you are a starving caterpillar. Eat the clovers and avoid the flowers on different gardens. Okay. The game starts in a small garden surrounded by purple flowers. You are a starving caterpillar in the middle of the garden. Purple flowers are like poison. You can only eat those sweet green clovers. Go for them. Every time you eat a clover, you will grow. Oh, you grow a lot. When there are no more clovers in the garden, you are ready. Now you're another baby caterpillar in a new garden. Some wall of flowers uh, make your uh, way difficult to the clovers. You can start moving in any direction. When you eat a poison flower, when you bite yourself, the game is over. Hold it for a moment. Press the fire button to start a new game. I went into myself. Back, so this came in eighth place out of 26 uh, for the 2017, uh, which category? PUR 80. Kind of like Nibbler. It is. Basically. Oruga no Oruga. <laughs> lots of, uh, ah. lots of Spanish going on. Hey, CRC Air. Welcome to the show. Um, back in 1994, I programmed a game in, in Atari Basic called Oruga. I think I got the idea from an article in a non-computer related magazine. I vaguely remember a screenshot with a small description of the game for the Apple II or Apple IIe. Might be one of my first games using Antic Mode 4 with Antic Mode 5 line for score. Uh, re redefining the full character set. As I set the rules, I allowed diagonal movements and many walls appeared in the playfield in every new level. So you've made, have you made it to level 2? No, oh, I no. have 5. Some years later, in the Nokia 6610 GSM mobile phone, included some mini games, and one of them was Snake, which is almost the same. Yes. But for, for the 2017 Basic 10 Line contest, I was planning to rewrite small versions of the game. I wrote more than 30 years ago, and Oruga was not in the top of the list. Actually, one of the top was Babusa, which turned into Surround. It was based in the Atari 2600 game. If you miss it, you have to go all the way back. Oh, yeah. Well, when you get really long, you really have oh. to circumnavigate. Aruga is the Spanish word for caterpillar. Oh. Cute. I like that. Is that my old 800XL in the images? It is. It's doing very well, Sierra Sierra. That's Harry, who rescued me. Yes. Thank you, Harry. So we were able to do this show. Yeah, it's the premiere of his Atari 800XL. Yeah, the um, the XEGS I found out was problem since day one. Oh yeah. Because I have a stack of cartridges over here. Um, oh come on. Atari 8-bit cartridges. Yeah. And a lot Half didn't of them work. didn't work on yeah. my XEGS. All of them work in the 800XL. So I thought, oh, there's some incompatibility with XEGS. It doesn't run everything. No, no, no. That is not the issue. The XEGS was broken the whole time since day one, sadly. So, um, hopefully that will be able to um, be fully fixed. Because when you do a, a memory check on it, it uh, complains and says there's a problem with the memory. Do all your cards work on the 65XE? I have not tested them on the 65XE yet. Um, that should be very, very easy to pull out and try. So I will give that a try. Maybe tonight, because it's all set up really nicely here. If not tonight, I'll try it tomorrow. Next time you die, it's my turn. 
Oh, 20 seconds. It's not going to be my turn. Oh, no. Now oh, now I'm dead. Now you're... Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay, I get 14 seconds 14 to play. 14 seconds! Oh, I died. <laughs> you can, like, reverse yeah, immediately Yeah, if you on go yourself. backwards on yourself... No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Annual basic 10 letter contest is so ah. great. Victor is the master. Yay, Victor! Without him, it wouldn't be what it is today. Oh, nice. So he sets the bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's won 10 first place. Mm -hmm. So the next game is I'll Be the I Albino Bat, number 13 out of 35. I'm a little scared we're only at 13. <laughs> it, it's calculated to be three hours. How, how many are we doing? 35. 35, okay. So. I had mentally flipped those numbers, and I was like, are we doing 53? 53 games. <laughs> 35 is doable. So this is Flappy Bird, essentially, ah. with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you rescued oh. the bat. Oh. He is albino. Oh, that's a very white bat. Do your sonar trick and fly through the cave, avoiding to hit the stalactites and stalagmites. Albie is inside a cavern and needs to exit for food. Scan the surface of each cave with the sonar. Use the joystick button to flap the wings. Press to move them up and down and release them to move up. What? Press to release? It's, it's the button. It's oh. just worded. Oh, I thought you were it's talking about the funny. joystick. No. The only way to stay flying is by flapping continuously. Flaps, flap rapidly to ascend, slowly to descend. Fly to the other side of the cave, avoiding the stalactites and stalagmites. The starting height in the cave is the same as the one you left the previous one. I feel like I just because it's gray, I really want this to be a Vectrex game for some reason. Oh yeah. Can yes. you can you imagine a Vectrex Flappy Bird game? I Does bet one exist? Made it. I'm oh, sure. I... It's I'm sure somebody's made it on every platform. I but it just the colors made me think, oh, Vectrex. <laughs> the Toko 8 bits has about eighty percent of the games on your Atari age forms list. <laughs> That's true. He true. has a lot of a lot of games on the list. He's very prolific. Which graphics mode did you use on this one? Let's see if he says. Sure you um, oh, it goes through iterations. Uh, oh my god. The, the write-ups are huge on each of these games. So, <laughs> so if you want to learn... quite enough time to... No, I can't even read it in the five minutes we have. I can only read the, the basics. So he got fifth place out of 17. This is the uh, PUR 20 category, 80 columns, because he used Turbo Pascal to write it. Gotcha. Turbo Basic, not Turbo Pascal. Turbo Basic XL, um, which you're not allowed to use for the PUR 120. For the you're, or 80. You have to, uh, for, the, for the PUR 80, because yeah. you have to use the, ba the one that comes with the yeah. computer. So this took him six days to write total. Nice. GR15, Antic E. GR15. I don't know any of these modes. No. I'm so used to the 2600 where it's like, you get what you get. Yeah. <laughs> you just draw on the screen. Yeah. There's no modes. <laughs> you just have five things to use. And play field. I do like this cute little bat. And background. Yeah. <laughs> he is cute. Yes. Is. is it getting and the, narrower? And the stalact oh yeah, it's very narrow. Um, the left number at the bottom of the play field is the number of the cave, 15. And the right number is the number of tries left. Oh, you get five lives. You'll earn a bonus try at the end of each cave with a maximum of five. Oh, that's very generous. Because you haven't died yet. No, I'm surprised I didn't die in the first couple of so minutes. So you're like maxing out your lives every time. Oh, oh I stabby got him. stab. You got stab. Where are we going? We oh. don't need modes. <laughs> okay, the bug has bit me again. Going to look for an 8 bit once again. Oh, he's going to buy a new 8 bit. <laughs> I think you were saying you wanted a 130XE? Is that the one you're, you're thinking about? Or no, a 1200. 1200 XL. Which is apparently the most sought after one. Oh, is it the 1200? But it's the one that has the most bugs coming oh, out of the gate. that's funny. So a lot of people upgrade them to get rid of the bugs because you can upgrade them. Mm. 
Try playing this with the CX40 button. The CX40. Gross. <laughs> yeah, very generous with the lives. Is it seeming to get... Oh! Oh! Poor, oh, oh. Out. Can't take your finger off the button there. Oh, four seconds. 20. I made it to 20. Excellent. Fun game. Very fun. This next one is Uncle Simon. Oh. And it looks like a memory game. It is a joystick. Oh, it's tones. Memorizing tones? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll get to that. Number 14. Uncle Simon waits for you to be ready. Press the joystick button when you are. Uncle Simon plays a single tone. Okay. And waits for you to repeat it. Use the joystick and move it to the proper direction. Oh, I see. Each time you repeat his tones, he had another another one, you know, Simon. And it lights it up. So down. What? Down left. Gotcha. The first round tune only has five tones. When you complete the round, a new round begins. Each round is longer and faster than the previous one. You must be aware. If you forget a tone, you lose the game. See how far you can go in the challenge. It's really cool that it's using text for your score in the game as part of the tones. Mm. What are you looking at me for? It's really hard to do it when you're oh, talking. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. If... if, if um... So this got 10th place uh, at 24 entries. Yeah. It took two days, and it was for the stock PUR uh, 80 category. Nice. Okay. Go for it. James has been silent. <laughs> Shush. Playing Simon while somebody's talking is challenge mode. <laughs> exactly. You yeah. want to up? You want to up the challenge? Blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna play this because no. you're way better at this than I. Am. Are you sure? There's time. I'll try, but you're already at a high level. I'm at round four. Are you you gonna to give it to me? Yeah, or yeah, not? <laughs> no. Do you want to restart it? Or? Nope. Oh, I lost it. There you go. Now you start it. What? There you go. Almost all the way off. I, I, I forgot what it was. That's okay. Start over. For the PRR 80 category in the 2018 edition of the contest, sorry, you're gonna have to That's play okay. in hard mode. That's okay. I'll go on light. Uh, says that only stock basic dialects can be used. For the Atari XL, XE means that Atari Basic must be used. Neither Turbo Basic XL nor any other flavor basic allowed in this category. Turbo Basic XL is an upgraded Atari Basic, faster than it, with many features added, like the automatic initialization of variables and a raise at start. Oh, nice. Structured programming using repeat until while, if, else, and if, memory management using move or depoke and other simple statements that perform a small task, which in Atari Basic many statements are required, like a single sound without parameter to turn off all the audio channels and pause to give accurate timing to a game. Line numbers are required to enter code, but it's possible to write full programs without a go-to statement. Without Turbo Basic Excel, it looks in looks like instead of 800 bytes, 10 lines of 80 characters, only 300 are available. 
and 10 lines seem like not enough number as a destination to the flow control and the language dominated by the go-to statement. This turns into a very difficult challenge. Goodbye high quality games. Goodbye player missile animations. Can 2,600 games made to be work, work with the Atari 8 line of computers? I, I mean, 5,200 games are a lot closer to the Atari 8-bit. 2,600 games are so different. So, 2,600 is such a different machine that it really doesn't translate to any other system at all. Mm. Um, I mean, it has sprites, like other systems, but the way it draws is so, so different. Mm. Um, yeah, 5200 games often get ported to 8-bit and 8-bit go to 5200 mm. a lot. Um, so much so that I combine them into one category for, for the contest. The, the contest, yeah. For the Atari Homebrew Awards. Yeah. So, you can probably guess what this is. Um, oh yeah, it is a keyboard game. Now, it starts off slow. Now, um, if anybody's played the game Tapper, mm. where you throw beer or root beer down to the patrons to clear them out, there's a mini game in Tapper that is this. I never lose <laughs> in, the, in that mini game in Tapper. Yeah. And it's, it goes quite fast. As long as you're paying attention. Yep, your eyes have to just stay on it. Okay, you know what? We're going to play around. Yep. Uh, I, I wasn't looking at the screen, so you the chat needs to oh tell me God. what to pick. Oh, it's going to be so slow. No, that's fine. Okay. So, chat, what should I pick? Oh, because of this one? Three. <laughs> we go one vote Who for three. Who is actually three, paying attention? One. Oh, oh my. Two votes for three. Okay, we're going with three. Oh, good job. Okay, next round. Is the chat? So when it ends, yes. I want you to tell me which one you think it is. All right. I think I know which one I will pick. Don't have much time. No, no, it's fine. It's We're fine. going with the first answer. Oh, come on. No, I want to get to a high speed. Oh. Because if we get it wrong, it's, it's going to... Oh, long. I forgot what... I didn't even see which one it was under. No, no. So the chat has to let us know. They which one is have it? To let I think us I know, know which one time. it is. Give them a second. It's okay. This is fun. One, 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 one. One. I say one, two. Okay. We'll All right. It. Okay, next round. Oh, it stays with that one when it begins. Now it's getting good. Easy. All right. Easy peasy. I know what I... No, don't pick it. Okay, everyone? <laughs> Two. Yep. First answer, CRC error got it right. Yeah. VH said C, you could add Ooh, it. Oh, there are five now. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. I know where it is. Yeah, you could add a, a game like this into um, one of your games, mini game. Okay, everyone. Next round. Don't, don't. I know I which one it. it is. I, I know which it. one it is. Oh, three, CRC. Three, I say three as well. All right. Still slow. Got to have some audience participation. That's right. It's way more fun. Okay. Next round. Oh, one, one. CRC I say got one it. as well. Yeah, I say <laughs> yep. one as well. I think CRC here has a very low buffer. <laughs> Watching the show. <laughs> he seems to be. Yeah, yeah seems I think to be you're right. First every time. Oh, I missed it. I, I, I think I know what it is. Yeah, I say five as well. Five, five. So it gave him third place out of 17. Ooh, six now. It took him two days to make this game. Oh, six now. Oh, my goodness. Still not fast enough. Still not as fast as Kay. as Tapper. And that's really fast. I know which one. I know which one. Come on, get a few up there. Two. I agree with two. Yeah. Rod Castler got it first, and he typed it out. <laughs> That's bonus points for One you. bonus points. <laughs> you got an extra bonus point, Rod Castler. Oh, now it's getting fast. There we go. That's a very fast one. I, I, so I... 
<laughs> haven't had so much fun <laughs> on my PC. I think it's two. I think it's two. Oh. Yeah, Rug Castler as well. Two, two. We got yep. some twos. All right. Hey, I'm going to watch it this time. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's fast now. I say four. I, I say four. Four? What do people say? Who gets it first? Sears here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Keep going to the... Until the buzzer goes. One more. This is the uh, last one. Oh, my God. Oh, I think it's three, but I I'm think not it's sure. Five. I think it's five. Oh, I think it's three. Five? Oh. There's a five? There's five. a five. Okay. You lose. Oh, I lost sight of it right at the end. Wow, that goes really oh, fast. Oh, that was fun. That was a good one. <laughs> um, next one is Deep Canyon. Mm. Uh, this is a joystick one. Uh, this came in sixth place. Um, or 16. Uh, it took him five days, and this is for 2018. Start steering. Oh, Steer it. Oh, what, what am I doing? Avoid everything. Ah! You have... Uh, I did play this one. Oh, this one I tested Oh, he doesn't move out. very much. Um, your health bar is at the top. When it reaches the right, you're dead. Can you slow? Nope. No. You just, just left just and right. Keep a fallen. The walls will come in. Gotcha. And you don't want to hit the, the dots. Yeah, it, it hits your health. Oh, like the color changes very yeah. nice as you get deeper right. and you go further down the screen which makes it harder because you have less time to react poke background <laughs> poke background yes exactly <laughs> increase color poke background Oof. but luckily you have um i want to say health. pokey every time i pokey. say it though there is poke and pokey in this computer is there <laughs> there's a pokey sound card i was thinking of the food there's... but Oh, poke. Poke. Is it poke or pokey? Pokey. Probably poke. Poke. I don't know. That poke. sounds French, ah! poke. Oh my goodness. Like bouquet. <laughs> Bucket. Bucket. Oh, ah! you're almost to the bottom. Will oh. you win the first time playing? Oh, don't gosh. Don't hit the sides. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't gosh. hit the sides. Oh, the sides are death. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Oh, oh, oh so hard. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> Your <My> turn. turn. <laughs> Oh, the walls are made of... It's midnight in Matoko land. <laughs> oh. Nice. You can nice. stay awake. Nice. It's only a Tuesday. <laughs> it's only a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you, the biggest thing is to not touch the sides in this game. Mm. Touching the dots is not too big of a deal because it's very quick. It hurts you only a tiny bit and it's very quick. But the sides, you scrape against them, and it just takes out uh, so much of your health. So you want to. Trunk. You don't move very, very much. No. So you, you really have to like anticipate where things are going. So. Yeah, you kind of drift. Middle. Yeah. So you want to stay as middle as possible, possible, and avoid the dots as much as you can in the beginning. But you want to save up all your health. Oh, what? I didn't touch that towards the end when you're inevitably you will have to hit dots and then after a while you just stay in the middle of the edges and don't care about the dots because that's the only way you're going to survive died oh, I when I was it's practicing hard. on this one I actually did it the second did time did you around. really? Yeah. do you want a second shot? Uh, it looks like you're the last player you're a paratrooper that is falling inside a canyon. Move to the left or right to avoid obstacles. The canyon gets narrower as you go down. Each time you hit an obstacle or wall, the hurt indicator bar increases. Hurt, hurt indicator. Um, as you go down, it gets darker. You win the game if you reach the ground before the bar is full. You lose if you got too many hits during the descent. Games programmed in Atari Basic are rather slow for many reasons. All numeric values are stored in BCD format. Um, bi binary, what is that? Binary? BCD, anyone? Controlled anyone? decimal, something. Uh, uh, floating point notation, even though those variables like counters are used as integer. Binary coded decimal. Um, OS printing routines use many internal vectors, parameters, and validations. Internal structure of the basic programs need to be scanned almost every change of the line number that is being executed. There are no statements to manipulate memory locations other than peek and poke. 
which can address and manipulate only one bite at a time. So if you wanted to peek and poke, oh, <gasps> so close, one line away. One line? 19 no. seconds. No, you're not going to make it. Is the dude in Vitoko Land who designed the super cool 10 liner t shirt watching? If so, props to you. <laughs> what? There's a 10 liner t shirt? Oh, ah, hmm. One second. I really like nice. that game. That is really cool. Yeah. And not easy either. No. Like, it's very, very challenging. Um, and that one was in the PUR 80 category, mm -hmm. so the, the most basic. So, La Peste. Uh, this one. Nice intro. Very Ooh, nice. Oh, it's got a title screen. Nice. Wow. So this was in the Extreme 256 category, so we had a bit more room. Okay, fair enough. Uh, when you run the game, you get the intro screen. Press the trigger on joystick one. You're the small guy beside the door of a bunker. You have to collect items before the purple plague catches them. Oh. The items must be pushed into the bunker. Uh, when an item reaches reached by the plague, the global spare item numbers decrease. The game will f uh, finish if there are no more spare items. Only can't push two, only one. Oh, pushed it into the bunker. Into it. Into it? Into it. What are you talking about? Into You're what like bunker? The middle thing. Oh! Into it. Oh. oh. Yeah, I didn't realize that was the bunker. Yeah. I thought you were supposed to keep it away from the purple. Well, kind of. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you just have to keep it. When there are no more unsafe items on the screen, the next region, a bigger one with more objects, must also be cleared. It's a good item move. Good idea to move the objects that are closer to the plague before pushing them into the bunker. Be, be careful. Don't place too many items together. You won't be able to push them later. Mm -hmm. If the plague reaches you or you fall into the plague, you're dead and the game is over. VHZC designed those t-shirts. Oh, is it? I don't think I've seen the 10 line t-shirt. Yeah, VHZC is watching. Oh, there he is. Yeah. This is Super Pro Robot Finds Kittens. Uh, what was that game? Oh, Find the Kitten. That was a weird game. Did you play that one? I can't remember. Where it's just random stuff on the screen. You just go look at them and, and oh. see if it's a kitten or not. And oh, yes, yes, yes. And I think that was an 8-bit game, was it? Yeah, because it had a lot of text. So I think it was an 8-bit game. It was like one of the first 8-bit games, eight games we played. Is like it was called is it a kitten or not or something weird yeah, like that and, but it had lots of uh snarky comments yes it's like it's not a kitten it's a blah yeah it's like, it's such a weird game um oh he, did, he didn't really do a write-up for this one hmm. so this came in fourth place out of 17 entries um it took six days to write it so this has a lot of graphics you really need to do a, a COVID update for this one, you know, so you're hoarding toilet paper. That's right. Hand sanitizer. Change all the graphics, yeah. Masks. Nice, cute little tiny graphics for this. I don't know what they are. It's like I don't know, apples and blocks of things. <laughs> I don't know what those things are. They're so tiny. I almost ha got my S-Video cable in the mail. It, I was hoping it would come today because right now we're um, using a composite cable um, to do the graphics. How is it looking though? It looks decent. Oh, it's fine. Decent, oh, yeah, yeah. Composite's fine. It's just some bleed, like a little bit of bleed. S Video has less bleed. <laughs> not, not no bleed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, RGB has a oh little bit of ghosting, but that's about it. Just a lot of stuff. Oh my god. You, <laughs> Did you not look? Going to die. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not going to get it all. There's no way. No. So, how many? You have nine extra items to sacrifice. To sacrifice? Yeah, because there's an item counter on the right hand side. So, when that goes to zero, you're done. Oh, VHC, VHZC is done. He's out of here. Good night, VHZC. Thanks for tuning in. You haven't touched the purple, have you? Not yet. Ah, uh, it's coming. Just rescued that one. Because you know, you not only have to get the item out of the way, you have to 
not get killed. <laughs> you have to have leave one room for you to get behind the item too. Yes. So you have to get four. <gasps> oh, oh, I oh, clicked over. Scrolling. Nice game over. Wow. Nice game over. 13 seconds to yeah, go. Yeah, that definitely starts to get challenging at that level. Hi, kitties. Hi. Still oh, wow. The next eh? one is, uh, looks very impressive. One are second. we almost done? Oh, we are almost done. Okay. The next one's called Defensor. Mm. Uh, protect the humanoids from the evil aliens and rescue those who have been abducted. VHZC does amazing designs. Designs. T-shirt designs. Yes. And yes. obviously in his games as well. Yeah. Um, he has a quite a variety of t-shirts and we bought a number of them actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, play. Me? What? what am I doing? Shoot. Shoot the baddies. There you go. Uh, Ox Coffee, thanks for joining. He yes. said he has to leave, but he'll watch thanks, the rest of Ox it later. Coffee. I just spat all over myself. Blech. Blech. You are the captain of a spaceship that must protect the humanoids in the landscape from alien abduction. Have you ever played Defender? <sighs> yeah, I think so. Okay, there's your map up atop. And uh, there's little guys in the bottom. Do I have to get them? Nope. You um, defend them. So you oh. have to shoot those guys. If you watch the map, you can see the ones where that are getting low in the sky. And when they'll try and capture them, and then when they capture them, they'll take them up. And you can shoot the alien and then catch the guy before he falls to his death. Oh, I almost ran into that. I'm not sure if that's deadly or not. I bet it is. Um, you're the captain of a spaceship that must protect the humanoids in the landscape from alien abduction. So this one is took first place. It's really nice. Yes. Ten lines of code, people. Remember that. Defender ten made lines. in ten lines of code. 256 characters per line, but still. Oh, my God. Um, so this is in the extreme 256 category in 2018. What well, do I do? Gonna, just shoot the alien. It's going to... And then you have to catch the guy. Shoot the alien. No, I can't. There He's you go. Protected. Catch the guy. Catch him. Catch him before he falls to his death. How do I? He but died. I'll kill myself. No, you just touch the guy. That's all you have to do. Touch him. There you go. Now take him to the ground. Take him to the ground. Yep. Down, 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 down. No, nothing's... Oh, never mind. Nothing's don't happening. Do don't have to do it. Oh. Not in this game. What do I do then? Uh, you just hold him. I haven't read I everything shoot. yet. Oh, you can't? <gasps> Oh no. How do you do it? Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. While carrying a humanoid, you must perform a flush flight on the surface and the humanoid will defend. Oh, so go go along the surface. All the way down. There you go. So there's specific spots. Gotcha. Drift in the land. That's one way to put it. Oh, I like Whoa. that. Whoa. That's a cool way. Yeah. Um, the ship is always moving left or right on the screen and you can change the direction and or accelerate the moving joystick in the required direction. Um, you can fire to destroy the aliens before they reach the humanoids, only if they're at a considerable height. You cannot fire if you're near the surface. Abducted humanoids can be saved before the aliens reach the top of the playfield. If you shoot the alien and pick the humanoid before he dies, at the end of a free fall. Be careful. If you hit the humanoid, he'll die. Like fire on him, I'm guessing. No, just keep drifting along. Oh, you have to be at the bottom. You weren't all the way down. Yeah. There, there we go. Watch out, when you kill an alien, you cannot pass between its remains. You must change the flying direction or move up and down to avoid them. When you kill an alien, you will earn 20 points for each living humanoid. 160 points of all the humanoids alive, but just 20 points if there's only one. Then you must protect all the humanoids to quickly increase your score. Hint, you will earn 90 extra points when you pick a hot falling humanoid, and 200 points when the humanoid drops off on the surface. Mm. Rod Castle says, I can get this done in a thousand lines of code. No worries. <laughs> Same here. I'd be like, oh, ten yeah. lines of code? Uh, no. Never? <laughs> never. I could maybe draw the ship in ten lines of code. <laughs> maybe move it? <laughs> oh, that was close. This is outstanding. It looks great. Like, he's got the radar. He's got the extra lives, the score, the random terrain at the bottom. It's keeping track of all of the humans, all of the aliens up top. Refreshing both the graphics and the... Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Beware, don't crash into the explosions. Oh, don't shoot the human, though. 
good job. Yeah, the humans like to go to their safe spot. I bet it's evenly spaced out. Probably more towards where they got picked up. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're, it's probably evenly spaced out. Oh, looks like he's given up on write-ups. There's <laughs> no write-up for this one either. <laughs> well, it's pretty, it's self-evident. So this one took him 16 days. Wow. So obviously a lot more complex than wow. anyone before All that. All right, nice. Very impressive. Uh, this one is really, really impressive, too. Mm -hmm. This one is called Mini Bros. Let's see if you can guess what. Uh, uh, I can guess already. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Vitoko. Oh, my. <gasps> no. Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> You're uh, ah! Mario. I'm Luigi. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. This is amazing in 10 lines of code. Unbelievable. Doing Mario Brothers. Ah! 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 You can't cross each other! No, no, no room to cross. I suck at this game. I suck! <laughs> ah! Ah! I suck at this game! I suck! Ah. And I landed. <laughs> fell <laughs> fell right into it. No points. No points for me. Kill the, oh, you can kill the um, the uh, fireballs. I think this is by default two players. Because we didn't... Oh, that's my turtle. Hey, you got two of mine, so you watch it. Ah! Ah! He's going to wake up. Oh, he's mad! Oh, they bounce off each other and everything. Like, everything's in this. Wow. This is amazing! Ah, oh, you did not! Nice. You're still coming! Oh. No crabs? <laughs> Just turn. You're on. asking too much. Oh! Ah! They don't, they don't wiggle <laughs> when away. they get up. Run away! <laughs> oh! Time to reconsider uh, our careers and start growing potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so you play. Now I will read. You practice your Mario. Mm -mm. So this came in first place, obviously. This is incredible. This took him 10 days to make. Oh my god, I couldn't even do the pseudocode in 10 days for this. Um, <laughs> this came in uh, extreme 256 category. Um... I saw a new port of Mario Brothers with Sinclair ZX Spectrum called Pietro ah, Brothers. Ah. I thought it could be interesting to try it as a basic 10-liner. I drew the prototype in a workbook for Antic Mode 5, 4x8 double scan line pixels, 4x10, 40x12 screen, or 20x12 double byte screen. In a very similar way I did before my centipede clone called Decipede. I had to change the bit the play field, but still giving the look and feel of the original game. In order to simplify the movement of the sprites, which would be implemented using two bytes, and deep poke to move them over the playfield. <laughs> they're all crazy now. <laughs> oh my god, they're all crazy. As it was done I'm in Pietro Brothers, game. I wanted to give credit to oh Mario god. Brothers Luigi. Oh my god. They're all packed together. I know. I don't know how you'll ever <laughs> I don't know how I did them. that. That's so funny. I, I'm terrible. <laughs> I need to get better at this. Uh, ah! <laughs> um, after a couple hours, I got a working prototype in Fast Basic. With a simplified play field and Luigi moving and jumping around it. The algorithm was so simple I managed to change I changed it to manage two players at the same time. Allowing me to add Mario as a second player, just using the fourth clutter of the Antic Mode 5 by enabling the bit seven of the sprite. Sorry. The constant bites of code was minimal. Wow. What you've given up? I'm terrible at this game. I'm horrible. Given up. I've always been terrible at this game. I love this game. I played it so much on my C64. It's beautiful, though. The oh, Toko, this gorgeous. is gorgeous. The color, someone was saying. Ah. The color is just amazing. Yeah, great choices for the colors. Yeah. Because when you pick specific um, graphics modes, it reduces the number of colors you have. Yeah. 
So he's got red, green, blue. That's about it. <laughs> oh, you can't get the fireballs. Maybe it's just coincidence. Steph says, Tanya Tormentor of Turtles. Yes. <laughs> They're all red and mad. I, 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 I object to actually kicking them. But I will flip them on their backs. <laughs> That's right. Come on, hurry. It's going to wake up. Oh. oh. Very <laughs> amazing. Oh, my God. Nice. Tea. Ten lines of code. <laughs> it's not my best game. <laughs> not your best no. game. Just give me that sorting game. Moving the, yeah, the, back the to the sorting. Yeah. Oh, look at that pixelated puzzle. Mm. Just for you. Identify the missing pieces and solve the classic sliding puzzle in the minimum amount of moves. The game starts showing a complete image to memorize. Mm. When you press the button, the bus puzzle will be shuffled. Uh, identify the missing piece <gasps> to select which slide you must complete Kirby! first. It's Kirby! Press the button. Oh, it doesn't show you the shuffling? Nope. Too bad. You only get to see that <sighs> it be it as shuffled. Um, slide a piece into the space by moving the joystick to that direction. When the last piece is moved into position, the missing piece appears in its place and the game ends. The number of required movements that were done is displayed in the bottom of the image. Three years ago, I wrote a sliding puzzle called M times N puzzle for the PUR 80 category that allowed a player to select the size of the puzzle from 2x2 two two up to 6x6, six six, defaulting the standard 4x4. Four four. But the pieces were letters and numbers sorted in alphabetical order. I wanted to write another one with a graphical image. I made some calculations on how many bytes should be required to represent a nice image for the puzzle. And how it should be stored and managed. Alternatives uh, were two colors, black and white, and four color image. Obviously you chose the four color image. A very good one for four color. So this is the PUR 120 category. It came in first place. Wow. I mean, it's very impressive for a 120. Um, it's amazing they voted a puzzle game as first. I never thought they would do that. Mm. There is a missing piece, but it could be any of them. That's why the shuffling's not shown. Oh. That makes it so much harder. It does make it Because it's uh, not the bottom right that's missing. It's any of them could be missing. Wow. Mike's all needs to go. Thanks, Mike, for watching. Have a good night. This is fun, but we will go back to that maze and find the damn cheese. The, <laughs> stuff says. the cheese is missing forever. Ever and ever. Um, let's see. A black and white or any two of the color image requires 512 bytes of data for a 64 by 64 pixel image. That is more than four lines in a pure, one pure 120, 120 category. That might leave about 600 bytes of code. Um, has a very different advantage of text screen to a graphical screen. Probably 40 bytes could not be enough to change that without moving to the extreme 256. A four color image would almost use almost all available space in that category for a 64 by 64 pixels image because it requires two bits per pixel or 1024 bytes total. But what if I reduce the size to a 32 by 32 pixel um, image? That is only 256 bytes or three lines for the puzzle image, giving at least seven lines for the code. Of course, 32 by 32 is very low res, but it's enough for an any 8-bit sprite. So let's try it. I decided to use graphic mode 5, 80 by 48, and adapted the code from M times N puzzle to manage the puzzle in a text buffer, then map it to the graphical screen with the bitmap pieces. Very, very clever. So he used some of the code. Well, he did start with the Mario sprite. And then he did some other pictures. Uh, Andy Warhol's picture, Marilyn Monroe. Um, picture of Rihanna. Uh, a Pikachu. And then he settled on Kirby. <laughs> this is getting worse, not better. Getting worse. Yeah, oh, I no. need I need Kirby's original picture. To you know, know what I mean? Yeah, it's a well, lot I can easier see when you his know. Eyes. I know. I kind of know generally, but I can see his feet. It's it's, it's, it's very hard. I've made it worse. <laughs> I have. 
It's hard. It's hard. No, I need a photo. Because there's too many, like... Especially if you don't know, like... Oh, this is, like, way worse. He's too pink. That's true. It's more difficult. Because there's only four colors. And most of it's pink. <laughs> pink and white. Oh, I want to start over. Yeah. But you're no. saved. <laughs> Save I would puzzle. I would play that for hours though. That would that's fun. Good night, Mike Soul. Uh, next one is a typing game. Typing and memorizing, so watch mm. the screen immediately. License plates. Oh no. Uh, oh. Oh, cars driving away from the bank. JG three seven zero. Type it in. Memorize the license plates Seven. of the bank robbers and give them to the police. How many can you catch? You witness an assault on a bank. Unfortunately, they did not hurt you with the shooting. You can see the license plates in the car where the robbers escaped. The police will ask for information that will help them capture the robbers. Keep talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if the information is correct, they will ask you the same about other relevant cars to solve the case, but having less time to memorize. If the plate is not correct, <laughs> what do you? What? It's oh, hard. I can't. I can't keep oh, it in my I head when, when you're talking. So you if might the have plate was not correct, you will be out of the case. Yes. The police will thank you anyway by telling you how many robbers they helped capture. Uh, Press return to help in another assault. Okay. Seven, not zero nine seven. Yeah. What? Yeah, you didn't see. There is no diagonal. Oh, I thought it was always Cheap. two letters Cheap. and three numbers. Nope, I bet it changes. Oh, uh, it does. Go ahead. Just put some tape on James' mouth. Easy. <laughs> no. You're no, you you do the next one. Then. Okay. That's a zero. You're next. Ugh. <laughs> Which computer are you looking for? CRC error? Okay. Mm. Okay. Gotcha. Those are Norse German standard. <laughs> uh, yep. Very. Oh, VP. Yeah, in BC we have uh Ooh, nine seven, I think. Oh my god. I missed it. HJU 06. 06? 06. I should say zero six RS seventy two. Wow, it's getting shorter. D D D D three one D D D three one. Hold my initials. Uh, P O nine four five. W Z M five nine. Yep. Ooh. That was really fast. That was. P R D twenty four. What? Y K X O eight. So fast. WD900. DW900. Del yeah, sorry, DW900. I didn't say it right. TLN09. Okay. TLN09. We could cheat and one do letters and one do numbers. <laughs> LL727. What did I say? Yep, LL727. IX469. Collaborative play. FN323. FN yeah. FB five three one. Yeah, five three one. PKV seventy six. LNA eighty three. Yeah. So fast. DB five eight seven. AP six twenty one. Yep. RX three oh nine. Is it max out? 
M I V six one. Six one. W N W two four. That's good. You got those last two because I did. Q B nine one eight. Y C two six zero. X M two three two. Wow. W P N one three. B R F sixty three. Woo! We win. <laughs> HSK we win. zero zero. Uh, <laughs> that was fun. Wow! So fast. Interesting. Yeah. That gets really Good fast. Game. Um, mm -hmm. he came in twenty seventh out of thirty five. They didn't like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, took him three days to make. Mm -hmm. So, next one is UFO attack. Back to video games. UFOs are attacking. Um. Oh. This oh, is, oh, oh. 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 That's not working. Is it paddle? It looks like it. Looks like a paddle game. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Looks like. Kaboom! Ready? Oh, chunky. Oh, no, there we go. Uh, use the shields to protect the Earth from the attack of an aggressive flying saucer. An unidentified flying object is approaching and releasing bombs. Use a paddle controller to move the shields in order to block the bombs. If a bomb is missed during a wave, one of the shields is destroyed. A new shield is generated when a wave is cleared, but you can have a maximum of three shields at the same time. The game is over and the last shield is destroyed. You will see the number of completed waves and the number of destroyed bombs. Press the trigger to defend the earth from another attack. So this was in oh the gosh. stock PUR80 category. This is, this oh, is, no, it's, it's hard. Is it, is it just because it's basic? So laggy. It Although is a little laggy. Because it's, it's basic, I think. It's yeah. just, you just have to bear with the lagginess. A 130XE or 1200XL would be insanely expensive. Yeah. Oh! Jump down. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. oh, it's treat time. Oh, Steph's redeemed for treats. Oh, these cats, they know. They know now. They know. They know the score. All right. Who is ready to ring bells? Hmm? <laughs> oh, they're both very Oh, my excited. goodness. Can you see these guys? Ah, damn it. I gotta ring the bell. This gets so hard. This game is hard. Gonna ring oh. the bell? Once you lost the th one of them. Good. It's so hard. Just like in Kaboom. Once you've lost the first one, it gets torturous. Can you see the bell? Uh, nope, can't see the bell. Nope, can't see the bell. Right. here? Yeah. Nope, can't see the bell. Closer? Yes. There. Okay. Good. Now you can see the bell. Now you can see the bell. There you go. Thank you, Steps. Oh. They're happy kitties. Somehow, I actually <laughs> completed that level. Ah! Damn it. It's actually easier with one because it doesn't slow down as much. Yeah. That's interesting. It gets chunky with with three. And less with two, and even less with one. Ready? Because you're there not you moving as much on the screen. Good kitties. Good kitties get their treats. Good kitties. Good kitties. Uh, oh my god. Actually <laughs> surviving now. Yeah, good. But it's so hard with three. Ugh. Which is kind of good that it gets easier when you have less paddles. Mm. Because you can move it a lot faster with just one. Of course, the bombs fall fast too. Now I can read about it. Your turn. Um, so this got in 14th place out of 35. Uh, it is a stock PUR80 uh, category. I don't think your redeem actually deducts our channel points. I think I have the same points. Oh, oh well. well. Infinite treats for cats. Yeah. <laughs> They're happy about that. Hey, you didn't miss and reset. I'll have to check the video to count them. You didn't miss 
And reset. And it reset. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Interesting. No, I think it hmm. reset. I screwed up. I was thinking about a simple paddle game that could fit in the PRA 80 category because I like paddles and I want to put a game in the podium of this category. And Activision's Kaboom came to mind. The challenge was to write a program in plain Atari Basic, and I thought 800 characters were enough for a simplified version of the game, but I was worried about the speed. Could it be fast enough? Ooh, it's, it's right on the edge. Yeah, it's, it's just chonky, playable chonky, almost. chonky, chonky. Yeah. Oh, you're done. All right, next. Very interesting implementation. You reset the plates game. Reset the plates game. What? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, the plates, the license plates. Uh, 23, bouncing catch. So this might be a paddle game, actually, still. Well, they're still connected. See if they move it. Yep. So this is bounce and catch. Entered into the 2019. Came in fifth place. This is a stock uh, PRR80. Bounce the ball and catch all the numbers you can and score uh, in four minutes. Triple points when hit from the top. We played this. Yes. I think he translated this to 2600. Did you make this on the uh, 2600? I remember. Oh, and it counts down and you get less points every bounce. Like now it's down to eight points, seven points. Like you get. The only way to get nine points is pure luck. Pure luck. Yeah. Come on. Ugh. I have a prototype for the 2600. We definitely played it on the 2600. A ball will appear in the middle of the play field. Put the paddle below it and avoid it to fall. You have to aim the ball against the green numbers. The angle of the ball depends on how you hit it with the paddle. Green numbers will decrease with each bounce. Oh, zero points now. Terrible. If you catch one, does it... No, it just stays on zero. There you go. Uh, another will appear somewhere else. The score increases the same amount of the catched, uh, caught number. If you catch a number from above, the score will triple the points. I remember that. The higher the number, a much better score. The game is over when you miss a ball or when the time is over. Is it timer too? Is that it? The 17? No, no. That's your points. The time is over. Press the trigger to start another challenge. Impressive trajectory movement. Yeah, for Very. a basic game. For sure. I mean, if you look at... I remember typing in basic games, and they were always... Very few of them used graphics, because it's so intensive for basic to do it. Mm -hmm. And they always almost had a little bit at the end of the program... Um, when I was typing it in to have some some machine language code so that it could do the drawing routines quickly <laughs> in machine language and, and skip over them. Most of the logic was in basic, but the drawing, like the really slow parts, was always in machine language. But in this contest, there's no machine language allowed. So you just have to... Nice. Nice, from the top, too. Yeah, I got that. Double points. Oh, Vitoko says it's a four-minute game. Total four minutes. Oh, okay, so you're trying to maximize your... Whoa, oh, off by one pixel! Oh, oh, one pixel off. 81 points. Nice. My turn, then yeah. the remaining one minute. All right. The paddle. Oh, Nostalgic has to head. Have a good, good night. night. Nostalgic. Coding wizardry. Yes, agreed. Oh, I can't see the whole screen because the chair is in the way chair oh. ah is it oh. yeah because i slide over position the cam slide over a bit oh. ah. slide this way there we go get it get that get that score ah no so close oh no i hit yeah, it the wrong spot so close yeah, this will get it yeah 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 Kaboom. from the top too get it get it get it get it Oh, right there. Yes. No. Hit the side. Bounce back. From the top. Good job. Go, go, go. Nice. Okay, let's go 
Big balance right there. Get it from the top? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, come on. Hit the side, come back. Too much. I don't get it. 12 seconds. Final. Oh, damn it. Yay. Oh, good ending. Yeah. Perfect ending. Woo. Oh. Yay. 110 points. Good job. Next. Next. Let's see what we have next. And these are all in order of nice. release. Or Journey to Golden. Hmm. Interesting. So there you go. Journey to the Golden Mothership. Uh, not a paddle game. No <laughs> paddle game. As the commander, guide your ship safely to visit all your squad's motherships and reach the golden one before running out of energy. Your ship starts at the left side of the galaxy. The mothership is on the right. Some asteroids are in between them. There's an en energy indicator at the top. Do I have to go from the top or from the bottom? Use your joystick to drive your ship, giving momentum in any direction. To slow down, give some momentum in the opposite direction. Each time you arrive at the mothership, you must start another journey to the next one with more asteroids on the road. Your mission is complete if you reach the golden mothership before you run out of energy. It, you fail in your mission if you hit an asteroid or go out of bounds of the galaxy. Press the fire button to start a new mission. The Matrix games are timely for today. That's what I thought as well, mm. RC70. There's two Matrix games at the end. Oh, yeah. Because they released um, the teaser. Oh, for, for the, the new Matrix, Matrix movie? Today. Yeah. Is, uh, is, um... They are using the domain name they used in 1999. What? For the hype. What is the matrix.com? <laughs> really? Yes. That's amazing. Th they still have it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't cost that much. Nope. You can't go backwards. Nope. Oh, oh. no. You screwed oh. over. <laughs> All the oh, way no. to the beginning. Oh, well. My turn. My turn. Oh. Okay. I'll be right back. Because it's already halfway through the time <laughs> and I won't get to play. Mothership continues to change color. Oh my god, it's getting crazy. Oh, you can go straight, so that's not too bad. Now we're in blue. Oh, it's a nice path up here. Joystick game. I bet this one did well in the rankings. Oh, I should have gotten straight across. Oh, it does have a momentum. Ooh, not super simple. Oh, and you randomly start a different location. Oh, oh, so close. When's the golden ship? <laughs> when does it change gold? Oh, there's so many stars. Full of stars. Uh, there's still some clear paths, but it's getting worse. So much worse. Up, up, up. Oh, 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 no. Oh. Is it the golden ship? Oh, it's getting close to that color. Fifty-three seconds. Oh, you got. <gasps> is, is that, that golden? The golden? It looks, looks pretty gold. golden. Yeah. Got lots of time left. So. Yeah, you're pretty good. So I've been oh, just it's going right through it. Oh, it's maybe good. orange. Oh yeah, yeah. Stay at the top. Yeah. It's kind of gold. That's There's gold. That's gold. gotta be gold. Last one. Mm -hmm. 
it's so crowded. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of passage. Passages through those Luckily asteroids. I've saved a ton of time. Yeah. Watch out. Oh, come on. Go down, you have to. Get it. There you go. <gasps> no! What? Oh, no. <laughs> One more. This has got to be it. If you hit an asteroid, you're, you're done? or Yeah, game's over. That's okay. Finish this. Yes, I'm going to finish this for sure. Mm, I think you have to go up. Nope. Ooh, Ooh by a hair. By a pixel. By a pixel cat. By a pixel hair. Oh. Come on, golden. Come. <gasps> you're almost... Yeah! Woo! First try! Nice. Very fun. Very, very challenging. Adelgo states that Pal Palette does not have yellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty yellow. That's pretty yellow. Oh, well, we're not using Pal. Unless this is yes. Pal. So this one's called Wazers. Is it only random, or do you ha actually ensure a path to the ship? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't think he puts enough stars it, that it couldn't be random. Uh, you've lost some lives, but you're... I would start over. Oh, well, maybe not. Just go back and forth. Uh, you're a monster wazer, and you have to go, go to the destination pin, avoiding all those oh wazers on the way. You're oh, a monster wazer. You're running into the sides. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh find, my gosh! Okay, I have to be more precise. Find a path through all those wazers on your way. Way more precise here. When you arrive at the destination, a new pin will appear, and you must go there. When you crash into the wazers or the trees, you will lose a try. So this came in first place. This is uh, from 2020. Very cute. This is in the PUR 120 category. Uh, it took him five days to make this game. The last one uh, placed sixth. And took him five days to make as well. In the PUR 80. I really like the last one. Probably because I, I beat it. <laughs> this looks like exactly like Waze when I used to drive home. Because <laughs> you know Waze. Yes. Is, yeah. Mapping program. Well, so can you dangerous. stop once you go? Ah, or does you it... really have to be precise. Oh, you with... can stop. Yeah, you oh. really have to be precise when you go into it. I think that's the key. Yeah, so position yourself vertically before sliding into it. Hi, come up. Oh, wrong one. So, let's read about Wazers. For some years, I was thinking about a, a game based on the Waze app and its moods. While thinking of a game concept, I included a Waze logo as the puzzle in my pixelated puzzle game. But I wanted something different, probably related to driving instructions that must be followed to find a destination or something like that. One of the 2020 new features of FastBasic was the DLI statement, which enabled the program to include multiple display list interrupts. This means that few system registers could be altered automatically during the refresh of the screen giving the possibility to change elements, colors, or to manage PM by screen line. Thinking about this game, to use the feature, the first one was a Frogger-like game, mm -hmm. and the idea about using Waze moods came back. So this is, like, definitely Frogger-ish. Very Frogger-ish. Except it's a continuous movement instead mm -hmm. of hopping. Well, it's getting crowded. Oh, my God, Ooh. it's so crowded. <laughs> it's, uh, wow. it's your drive home. It is my drive home. It's the... 401 no, the in 401. Toronto. The highway, highway 1. 401. Mm, yeah. Not quite What's, as bad this, as the What was 401. the song from the South Park movie? There's this, they mentioned the 401? On the no, South the 1. Because it's all about Canada. Oh, really? Yes. It's like it's like um, the Wizard of Oz in Canada. They're traveling the... The, the Highway 1. Highway 1 road or something. Canada Highway. It's the only road in Canada. <laughs> oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so true. funny. It's so true. And yes, Canadians loved that movie. <laughs> loved it. Yes. <sighs> oh, oh, my God. Bad no. traffic. It's bad traffic. <laughs> It's very bad. Oh, ah. it lightens up, and then it gets really bad. Yeah. Very does. random. This is a very cute game. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Mm. 
So this, what category was this in? The, the 120. So he's got lots of little characters, little trees. Oh yeah, I was going to stop and show you guys one of his programs. I totally forgot. Which one was I going to show? Oh gosh. Maybe I'll show Terrible. this one. Oh, this one's... This one's a bit complicated. Which one was I going to show? It's all done. Okay. All done. That is cute. Very cute. There's only one road in Canada, Charles Wheeler says. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one road all the way across Canada. Yeah. There's Highway 1, which runs from Victoria, I think. So... Um, I don't know where the other end is, actually. It's terrible. Yeah, I don't know where it ends Canadian, up either. What kind of Canadian am I? Bad Canadian. A very bad Canadian. Yeah. So I was going to look at one of the codes of the game, and I can't remember which one I was going to show. Um, might be Deep Canyon. Uh, 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 let's look at Journey to the Golden Mothership. So he, for every single one of his games, he breaks down um, the code line by line and tells you exactly how he made the game, which is really, really good for programmers. Um, so it's at the bottom. He actually gives the full listing of his game as a big chunk, 10 lines. Mm. You can see he takes it right to the edge. There's a couple extra spaces because you can't fit commands perfectly in there. Um, Make sure I show all this on the screen. Let's see. So you can see he breaks it out line, like command by command at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so he sets up some uh, data. Um, he sets up some uh, initial positions of the mothership. Uh, line one, so he, that's a line. Mm -hmm. Change, uh, set screen to graphics mode two, which would be a different type of uh don't know what they are but mm. <laughs> different uh configurations of resolution mm. and he's allowed pokes and um, he takes advantage of that bunch of pokes to do yeah. things uh joysticks bit table i'm guessing that's to read the joystick uh color you can set the color for the ship initial movement of the ship the initial level the timer uh, initialize the play field with the timer bar on top. So, see, the Commodore 64 didn't have those. Mm. Like plotting lines and drawing lines, so we couldn't do any of these basic games with that. Um, so that draws the top. Sets the current level number, sets the color of the mothership based on the level number. So each mm. level, it changes. Um... The QEW is the only Canadian the road, road I can, I can name. name. Yeah, that's what through that? Toronto. The Queen. Q, the QE. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth Way. RC78 references it. Yeah, it runs through Toronto. Uh, um, 401 also runs through Toronto. It's one of the worst highways to drive on in, in rush hour. P3 so. and normal width. I'm guessing that's your ship. Yeah. P0 and double width. That would be the mothership because it's bigger. Horizontal position of the mothership, um, which is set on all always at the right hand side of the screen mm -hmm. removes the ship from the play field I'm not sure what that why you do that but cleans the collision registers so nothing's touching anything right now and if something's set that means that collision register would change to a different number and you'd know whether you crashed into the mothership or the stars completes level in as initialization adds 10 asteroids to the field um, which is done randomly. There you can see. He doesn't make sure that there's there's a path because that would take too much mm -hmm. too much memory. So he adds ten of them, zero to nine. Um, oh, you change the color, then you change the color back. Um, so color one is all of the asteroids. Starts the initial position of your ship. I'm guessing. Initial speed, not moving vertically or horizontally. Uh, the ship's bitmaps are stored in string arrays. Uh, it looks like right around there, there's some gobbledygook, and mm -hmm. some there, some gobbledygook. So that's probably the enemy ship and your ship. 
Now where were we? Uh, initial speed and direction, nothing. Resets the attract counter. Not sure what that means. Don't know what attract is. Uh, navigation loop. Uh, checks for the joystick, so it's peeking into the joystick's spot. That means you look at a memory location and uh, puts it into J. Propeller sound if joystick is moved. So if it's joystick's not zero, it's going to make a certain sound. Uh, computes the movement direction on each axis. So it takes the, the number that it got from peeking into the location of the joystick mm. and starts moving uh, your ship. Increases or decreases the horizontal speed. He's calculating speed based on those movement directions he just calculated. Computes the mothership movement. Now that seemed a bit random. There it is. There's the random. Mm. How much it changes, which direction. Oh, okay. It didn't seem to have acceleration. It just seemed to move either up or just down. Just float up and down, yeah. Changes the mothership direction if it was decided. I think that is the only thing. Resets the internal timer, moves the ship, and updates the timer bar. Um, forces a V-blank to detect a collision. Mm. Next position of the ship. So it moves it based on the joystick movements. Mm. Puts the ship in the new position. Decreases the timer bar. Moves the mothership. A mom ship. <laughs> and checks collision. Uh, so moves the mothership to a new vertical position. Is it at the... Is it at the time limit yet? Because you have a total time. Mm. Checks for the golden mothership. Did you finish the game? Yeah. Did you arrive to the mothership? Yeah. Detects a collision between a ship and an asteroid or the border. Gotcha. Oh, just in one movement. That's pretty good. Uh, end of navigation level and game loops. Uh, loops if no collision was detected and time is not over. So it's if amazing. you're still good, go back to the top. Yeah. Um makes a sound with decreasing volume mm -hmm. loops to so that's like do you died yeah uh loops to line two depending on the finished level or loops in the same n line nine waiting for the trigger wow so there it detects if you press the button start over again wow. so that's a very cool breakdown oh so you can see they're binary binary strings yeah. so that's the mothership yeah and that's your ship and those binary strings are the things that i thought they mm. were uh, no, that would be yours right there. Mm. And then the mothership there. And that one is, let's see, Playfield. I guess that's Playfield. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe that's the border. So there's a breakdown mm. of one of his games. That's really cool. Yeah, so if you're interested <laughs> really cool. in, in programming in BASIC, here's a very, very compact uh, way of doing it's it. really nice to see it um, broken out like that because it really shows you how the whole game is built you know each step each line of the code what and it seeing does stuff exactly. like that you know yep. is is simple enough to understand and the commands are simple enough to understand it's that close to pseudocode yeah it's it's very that's why they called it basic yeah right? which is great because it's very basic to understand yep so mom ship i love that yeah the next mom ship mom ship the next one is called coronavirus oh my very apt <laughs> this must be a new one <laughs> and, and, yeah it's a uh, march 2020 there you go march she was very Ooh, inspired very early very early days yep so let's continue the countdown so oh Coronavirus is spreading widely and too fast. What am I doing? Lead your population to a safe area within oh, the time. Oh, I see. This this looks like it's a probably... Where's the safe area? Up top? Yep. Oh. Oh, it's like Frogger. So the top gets... Ah! The top gets populated. So you can't just move them out wherever. Very cool. Virus is spreading and your population at the bottom is in, of the screen is in danger. Use your joystick to lead one group at a time to the safe area at the top of the screen. Once you leave the bottom area, you cannot go back. That's like leaving your house. Whoa, just squeezed in between. Once a group is safe, some more time is added and you can lead another group. Oh, you can arrive to any position in the safe area, but following groups should fill the empty spots. Uh, you can move diagonally to pass through the blocking viruses. So there's diagonal movements. 
It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> no. If the group you're leading becomes infected, you die. Even one of them? Wow. Harsh. That is pretty harsh. <laughs> when the time is <gasps> over... Dead. Oh, no. Fatal. It... Fatal. Fatal. Spreads to everyone. When the time is over, infection becomes unstoppable and the game ends. You will only win when all groups are safe. Diagonals are allowed, Vitoko says. Yeah, Mom not. ship sounds so much less apocalyptic than mother ship. It sounds more wholesome, like a wholesome event. I like how they um, spread and die. Oh, like do they, they appear and yeah. spread? Oh, they do. That's so clever. Are those stored in a in a, an array then, or does it just peek and poke the screen? So when does the Delta variant uh, kick in? <laughs> oh, that's a sequel for, <laughs> for 2022. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Then suddenly there's a purple one and it starts spreading faster. That's right. You're taking and so then, many risks. I'm not taking Going right up you beside them. To. You have to. I guess to. so. They don't move that fast. They aren't socially distanced very well. Ah, no. Okay. Okay, your turn. My turn. <laughs> No, they aren't socially... The Atari variant is much more deadly. Nice. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Let's go straight up. Go, go, go. <laughs> it's deadly when you're pushing up and the next guy is ready and you accidentally push out. The, did that happen to you? Oh. Like you ran right into the... Uh, uh, they just... From the bottom? They're kind of random movement, but... Oh my god, look how bad it is over here. Yeah, and you, you start from the right. Ah! Yeah, always... Go, 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 run, 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 run. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh, it's so bad. Does oh, it get worse? so funny. Is there more on the screen after? I don't know. I wonder how he calculated his game of life death and rebirth of the coronavirus all over the screen. Oh! oh. Infected. Where are we at? One minute. You won't win, but you can give it a good try. <laughs> oh, this guy has it out for me. Yeah, there's way more as it as it goes. Let's see. Um, let's see what he said about... I'm going to read his pseudocode. <laughs> Out where he updates the viruses. Uh, removes the virus from its old position, except if a random trail is left behind. Puts the virus in its new position. Okay. Uh, virus 202. Virus array. Horizontal position. Moving direction of the virus. So it does have a movement it only and goes, it keeps moving it goes side to side by the way it doesn't seem Not to up expand and down. it doesn't expand up and down it expands so it's horizontally mm. no i just really need to get the feel for the, the well, i'll give you a bit more time because we had a little bit of beginning. carryover because we're reading out some pseudocode Batoko says always random but how do you handle the life and death of them because there's definitely more on the screen now or do you just add one every time um i can't see it in the pseudocode oh, there's so many at the bottom go go <laughs> someone spray some sanitizer yeah i can't the moment i move they're gonna start Oh, sometimes they leave a trail while moving. So they, they do. So they divide. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. They, they, they oh. like, there's like a, that's technically what, not what happens with viruses. <laughs> but what they should do is infect a cell and that cell explodes and there's a big boom of coronavirus all over <laughs> the place. You can pretend there's a cell but in every spot. Oh, he's blocking my path. That's true. You're just going to, oh, no, you can do diagonals. So go to the right and then up. Uh, no, I'll die. I know I'll die. No. Move! Move! Nope. Hold to the right and then go up. 
No, I'm scared. <laughs> it's not You're gonna, gonna die happen. in seven seconds. I don't want to die. Six seconds. Five. Oh. oh! See, I told you I was gonna die. There we go. For some <laughs> need need Fauci for some stats. That's right. Just <laughs> some strats for this game. Okay, next game is called Follow Simona. Mm. It's a personal training game. Mm. Rawr. Mm. Twenty-seven. And then it's repeat after Simona, so it's very similar. Um, oh, the last one came in uh, fifth place. Uh, 50, 57th place out of 87. Wow, nice. they didn't like that. Uh, okay, so uh, your personal trainer, Simona, does some exercises with you, and you must follow her as fast as you can. Simona is your personal trainer in pink. She'll invite you to do some exercises. There are three different levels. Easy, there are only four different basic moves. Up, down, left, and right. Regular, four extra movements in addition to the basic ones. You only have to move the joystick in the same four directions, and the extra ones will automatically... Oh. You have to pick it on there? Oh, stop. Oh, option is select. What was easy? Select. Oh, I see. Follow me in three, two, one. That is to the right, and then left, and then up, and then down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Uh, if you perform the same movement than her before she returns to the neutral position, you will score a hit. If you don't do the same movement, you will score a fail. Simona will increase difficulty during the exercises by speeding up a bit every time. The game is over when you fail 100 movements. Interesting. It's like real time, Simon says. Well, it's like any of those. Um, I mean, it's like an action. It's it's like doing exercises with a trainer. Oh my gosh, this oh. is so hard. Oh, your your fails are racking up. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, you're getting some some hits getting them in yep this is a nine line game wow so this one uh got in 11th place out of 25 for 2020 this is in the extreme 256 category uh took him 11 days to write uh, very very nice graphics and animation what there's gets a me lot of is, animated oh movies. my gosh it's so hard oh it's so fast Oh, you don't have to finish your full movement before you can start your next one. Because I was thinking, she's so fast now. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! When does when do you die? At a hundred fails. Oh. So your score is how many hits, really? Um, yeah, it's like a Simon. Fifty-six. That's hard. Let's see if this I can do it. This is hilarious. Choose difficulty. Easy. That was easy. <laughs> I'm going to do select again. Yeah. Three. Oh, it's just... Hmm. That's me. I like to untwist it. Yep. Ah! I love it. It's, it's hard. Yes. It's, it's a challenge. <sighs> Very cool. It is good for burning calories. Yep. <laughs> at, least, uh, at least moving your hand. Yeah, yeah your hand calories, I mm -hmm. guess. Your hand <laughs> calories. <laughs> uh. You need to get people in the background to actually do the workout. That's right. The squats and the, the twists and the leg lifts. Just need a cell phone version of it. So yeah. it's tracking your movement and you're up and down. <laughs> Metal Lunar. Haha, <laughs> we don't focus enough on those hand calories. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of hand calories. Yeah, burning all the hand calories today. <laughs> all the typing and video gaming. <laughs> oh, we do it every Tuesday and Friday. Every Tuesday. Work off those hand calories. <laughs> oh, I love it. Get muscular, muscular hands. <laughs> muscular hands. Ah, ah, it's getting all so those, fast. All those hand injuries. Ah. 
<laughs> well done. Are you gonna go to the end? Yeah. See how many? Ah. Oh, it's too fast now. Mm. I can't even keep up. I can't do it before she does the next one now. It's all gonna be fast. Oh, your hits are you're higher than me for hits for sure, but yeah. It just starts piling up really fast. My guess is the difficulty. It just starts faster. Like Oh my god, no, there's different movements with a button as well. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's more to explore in this game that yes. we don't have time for. No. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, I'm just randomly doing it because I'm just gonna take all the lifts. Nice. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. That gets job. way too crazy. Take a breath and try again. Yeah, nice. and the next one is also it's called "Repeat After Simona." <laughs> uh, um, this one's also in the extreme uh, 256 category. This got first place. This one. I wonder what differentiates them. Oh, it's the same. Oh, well. Repeat after Simona. Setting up. Oh my goodness. Five minute timer is out the window at this point. No, I reset it. Difficulty, start, regular, select, easy. Just easy. Series one in three. Oh, this one has sound. Oh. So it's it's Simon game. Yeah. Start for regular. We'll we'll do the regular one next. Ah, wrong Oof, way. Failed. Is it over? You yep. need more practice. Here you go. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. Oh. Um. So start for regular. Right. Yep. So there's different movements, but they're still up, down, left, right. Oh. That's still down. It just looks different. What? So it's still... It's just more confusing. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this one got in first place. In 2020, last year, out of 25 people, this is the Extreme 256 category. Probably because of all the graphics. Okay, looking at the code, it's all graphics. <laughs> it looks like half of it, three, almost three quarters of it, of the code is graphics. Brutal. Oh, 
Oh, fail, fail, fail. So for the hard... That's really good. For the hard version... Yeah? You have Even to press more. the button to do the alternate moves. Oh, my N God. Nightmare mode. That sounds like nightmare mode. <laughs> wow, what a cool game. The yeah. Toko. Unbelievable. That's amazing. You can see why I got it first place. Oh, it's so because good. Because the amount of graphics that he was able to put in the game and have code yeah. at the same time. My brain's already twisted. Like, I can't imagine hard with, with the button and oh everything, God, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, because you'd have to memorize which which movements wow. are the button movements and which are the normal How movements. did this one do in the contest, did you say already, yeah, RC70? First. first. Yeah, such a good take on Simon. It yes. is. Yes. It's a good twist on Simon. I like it a lot. Three, I love the 80s two, um, uh, body suits. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Very for the time. That's, that's great, yeah. I mean, if you sold that game... I'd probably do very well. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure they had workout games in the 80s. Did they? That looked kind of like that. I, I swear know. I remember one. I don't know. Tunnel Hunt. Uh, Tunnel Hunt. 29. Almost there. Seven more to go. So, Tunnel Hunt is in the Extreme 256 category. Mm. It got in eighth place. Mm. Um, Shoot chase and shoot the enemy ships through the tunnel without hitting the walls hmm. whoa 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 so you have to steer through the tunnel and shoot the ships i don't understand uh, ah. fly through the tunnel without hitting the walls move the joystick in the same direction the tunnel moves your shield protects you when you crash into the wall but it will lose strength and it won't recover when you fly in the right direction you will approach an enemy ship but it will escape if you don't follow it. You can fire short-range laser ball when the ship is close enough to destroy it. If it's not so close, you'll miss the shot. And you'll have to try again. When you sh hit a shot to the ship, you will destroy it and score. Then you will have to follow the next ship. The game is over when the shield is completely destroyed. Press the start to begin a new chase. So it's like you're moving and you're trying to shoot them at the same time. So there's two things going on. And obviously when it's closer, it's, way it's a lot easier. So I don't think you get extra points for shooting it further away. And also, they're not shooting at you either. So there's no reason to not just wait, right? Um, yeah. I mean, if you get more points, maybe. I mean, eventually it's going to run into you and you lose a shield, I'm guessing. Ah... Oh, it's really cool. I really like oh. the colors. They're beautiful. You're right, RC70. It did have a California Games feel to it, the last one. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, that was the right era. Um, well, I was reading some of the Atari history. Something called it my attention. It was the first game of the Atari license to another manufacturer, Tunnel Hunt. It was licensed 1982 to Century. I never heard about the arcade game, so I did a quick search and found the game was developed by Owen Rubin at Atari in 1978, but it started as Tube Chase with color vector graphics, then turned into raster graphics, first with ellipses and finally with squares. Before licensing to Century, Exidy also tried it with, this, with the name Vertigo. So it, it's a very flashy game. <laughs> it's really cool. I like it. I really like the look of it. I love the colors, the I changing the feels to play like the movement striation you want to play well after you're well you're probably not going to die so you have tons of shields so yeah i'll, I'll take over yeah there, go. there is no score just the number of shoots oh so you can't run out of bullets so i'm just shooting like crazy oh you've caught a cat I'm a kitty. oh he's so fluffy Stay. Did you ever shoot one that was far away? Um, I Seems think I did once. It, it, they are hard to hit. Because it's moving so much. Yeah. It's like, even when I think I'm getting it, it moves out of the way. It's like that one should have shot. It doesn't seem too hard to not hit the sides. <laughs> Hey, how are you? I'm playing. I can't pet you. 
Can you pet him? Because he wants pets. Yeah. He doesn't want pets Bye. from you, though. Oh, I'll pet he you. He wants pets a from little you. Bit. <laughs> I can steer. Hi. Yeah. I don't have treats. You've got treats already. Yeah. And there you did may... nothing for it because Atari did all the bell ringing, so. There might be another treats time <gasps> because really? there's probably enough time for three of them. It doesn't seem too hard to survive. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting though. I really like the perspective. It doesn't seem to make a noise when I hit my sh into the, the wall. Because mm -hmm. I haven't... Hi, I did hit a bit there. Hi, I guess I could play with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shoot with one hand, but... Hi, oh, now I have to shoot, sorry. Oh, no, it did make a noise, just heard it. Okay, here, hold it, hold it. Does it have an epilepsy warning and a uh, cat ass? After the fact. <laughs> warning, warning, flashing lights. Uh, Hi. Oh, oh, next one's really okay. good. Yeah? I did play this one. Nice. This one is Patrol. Nice. And people will recognize it immediately. Drive to point Z, zump, jumping over craters and other obstacles. Shoot to destroy the big ones and UFOs. So this came in second place uh, in the extreme 256 category. Wow, I wonder what came in first place. Oh, kittens. You're, that, that's not helpful. Uh, oh, 12 minutes to feeding time. You have to wait 12 minutes. Where's your friend? Oh, terrible. Hmm. Where's Atari? Your mission is to arrive at point Z in your buggy. Yes, Z. Uh, avoiding all the obstacles in your way. You can accelerate to the right and brake to go back to the left. Note that you will win more points when you're in the middle of the screen and less points when you're back near the border. You can jump over craters, small rocks and mines, but you cannot go forward or backward while jumping. You can't jump over big rocks, but you can destroy them with your short range missiles. You cannot fire missiles while jumping. Uh, they're a combination of obstacles, and you must do mo both jumping and firing in coordination. A UFO will throw bombs at you. You can avoid them or destroy the UFO by shooting it with your vertical oh, cannon. Oh, you can't you jump, can jump over those. those. <laughs> uh, if you crash into any obstacle, your buggy is destroyed, and you have to start again from the last checkpoint. When you arrive at a checkpoint, you'll get an extra buggy. You can have five buggies at most. Every stage is a bit more difficult than the previous. The first one has about eight obstacles, but the last one might have more than 20 in the same distance, so there's less space between obstacles. The game is over when your buggies crash or when you reach point Z. This is incredible in 10 lines of code. Big rocks shoot, small rocks jump. It's, uh, it's the timing of the... Oh, it's the jumping UFO. timing? This. Oh, Because yes. dodging it is really hard if you don't hit that UFO. How did he pack this into oh. ten lines? You this can't is... move back and forward either if when you're you jumping. Jump. Yes. So if, if he shoots at you, you're kind of... You're committed to it. Yeah, you can't move. It's you like can't get out of the way. like old school games when you're jumping. All the... Oh! See? Yeah. I it's developed a timing. strategy sure when I was practicing this. What you do is lure his bullet out first. Yeah. So, and then he fires, like lure him out, and then avoid the bullet. Yeah, I think you're right. Because unlike the original Moon Patrol, um, you don't slow down when you go backwards. It used to be, it's, in the real mm -hmm. one, it's very hard. Hey, you made it to point A. Oh my God. 25 more to go. A vaguely quest for tires feel to it. Quest for tires is very much like Moon Patrol, actually. Um. Oh, that was Too hidden. Close. My yeah. turn. My turn. Oh. Here. Okay. Oh. That's okay. I'll just have to, have to deal with four lives. Looks even better than the original Eddie Cat says. Some versions it yeah. looks better than. This is a very nice looking version. Look at the 
parallax scrolling. Yeah. Three levels of parallax scrolling in a 10 line game. That's, That's pretty nice. unbelievable. Point A to point B to point C. So I stay up front. And then I go backwards. That's what it was. You stay up front mm. because if you go backwards, even if you jump, you're still moving backwards mm. uh, and you're, you get out of the way of it. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Almost caught my tire. So this tank is your basic point A to point B transportation. <laughs> <laughs> there All we go. Right. Very, very nice. That very, very great. nice. Right. In the front, you get more points too. So oh, there's an advantage to that. Then I'm doing it exactly right then. Yeah. And thank you, Vitoko, for making this all in one program. It, yeah. Uh, Made it a lot easier. 31. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For flipping between them. Hubert. Mm, that sounds suspiciously <gasps> like another name. It's your favorite. Oh, it's a oh, Q. It's, it's a Q for Hubert. Wow, it's text Qbert. <gasps> Hubert has to change the color of the five pyramids to green. But ba Bali <laughs> tries to make him fail the mission. Hubert starts in the top of the first pyramid. This is the only safe spot in it. Pyramid, num pyramid number appears in the upper left corner. Uh, so this one uh, came in eighth place out of 66. This is in the basic category of 880 oh, characters Hubert per line. So much. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> oh. uh. I didn't know it was coming. I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. <laughs> it's her favorite game. Mm. Uh, Use your joystick to move Hubert through the pyramid. The joystick has to be rotated 45 degrees to the right. From time to time, an enemy called Bali will travel through the pyramid. Avoid him. Bali. I'm Bali. Every time you reach a spot, its color might change. Try to change it to all the spots to green in order to complete the pyramid. Have you gotten one pyramid yet? Yep. Yay. It doesn't quite go after you, and, and he cycles through. This one you have to change two colors. Um, while in the first pyramid, you can get the green at the first jump on it. Other pyramids need to more, jump more times in every spot in order to make them green. Every time Bali gets Hubert, all a try is lost. Bali will increase his speed and frequency as time runs. If you make Hubert jump out of the pyramid, yeah, it will I also see. lose a try, and all the work already done in that pyramid will be lost. When there are no more tries, the mission has failed and the game is over. It says, I've always liked the Qbert character and decided to program his game for the 10 line contest. I started with the simple pyramid design in graphics mode 12 in order to test how it would look and if I could manage all of its states in Turbo Pascal or Fast Basic. I was surprised that the code to make the character move through the pyramid without smooth transitions between spots was very simple. So I rewrote it in Atari Basic to measure how, space, how much space it would require. Of course, I ignored the bitmaps and sprites and selected the text mode too to display the pyramid and the character, which is which is really really smart. Oh, he's got a prototype here with equal signs instead of Y's. I think it looks better with equal signs, but the Y gives the illusion of 3D though somehow. So I can see why I changed it to the Y. As this finished game is a simplistic one, I just wanted to name it like the suggested name for the original game, Hubert. By the time I'm writing this, I hope to resume the original Hubert project with PM Sprites. Okay, my turn. Right. Tanya is the master at... Hubert, Star Starbert, Starbert Games. Starbert Games. <laughs> I hate this game, proceeds to kick ass. No, it's not too hard because it's not like the real Hubert where you have all oh, the... you can move so fast. You can move really fast. Boom, 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 You can move so fast in this. You can move really fast. There's like no delay. There's no boink? Boink? No, there's no animation. Boink? It just goes nuts. I do like the letters, though. I think that's really cute. Ah! Damn it. 
damn it. Yeah. Go star. Oosh. I like the star smoosh. Splat. Splat. Oh, I have to start over. Oh, I went far too far. <laughs> it's too fast. Oh, no. Being haphazard. There's only one enemy, right? Yeah, it, but it, and it just keeps trickling down. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not quite a Cuber game where they start chasing after you and you no. have to get them to jump off and... Maybe, maybe I don't know levels. what it is. I just have really bad memories of playing Cuber. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. It's just never been my favorite game. I hate this game. Proceeds to kick. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh no! It's the thing where it goes back and forth. Ah! Damn it! Smush. Oh, I got my extra life. Good. I think in this one you go like. Oh no! Well oh, well, there we okay. go. That's Hubert. That's Hubert. Very excellent. Very good version with text. <laughs> Never yeah. thought about very using simple. text for that. You could yeah. port that to any system. Oh yeah, for sure. Really easily. Okay, this one is called The Children, and uh, Children. this is amazing okay. that he did it in 10 lines. Nice. I'm getting really and, excited for The Matrix. So this is uh, for 2021. Mm. Look, it's got a title screen, too. It's in the Extreme 256 category. This beat Patrol in the contest. Mm. Okay, press button. You'll know what this is. Oh, my gosh. So you have to rescue your children. The child. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Look at the screens. And he's able it's beautiful. to... beautiful. How many screens did he include in this? Um... <gasps> when did this come out? This must have been this really year. recent. This year, this spring. So I'll read you the story. From time to time, some game genres become popular. Oh, I see. Or ports and new developments appear for some console or computer. And sometimes I think it could be simplified to be programmed as a 10-liner. During the first half of January, I had to test some games for ZPH's annual Homebrew Awards 2020. And some of the games were Pit Cat for the 2600 and Million Molly for the 7800. Both were based on games that evolved from the game Pitman or Cat Trap, a game written basic for the Sharp MZ700 computer in 1985. I didn't know this fact when I tried to, uh, decided to try a simplified version for the 10-liner contests, the ones I tested. So... How many screens do you have in this? Hmm. Um, let me try and find it. 17, 20. He has 20 levels in this game. Ah, uh, clever girl. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. Drop those other two stones. Rescue the child, which has animation. It, this it. looks so good. Oh, why, why is they facing the other? Oh, this is Star Wars. Yeah, it is. I didn't even notice that. Oh, what? Do you have to fall on him? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I see. I played this one of my streams, forgot about that until now. Oh, boy. Now it's getting crazy. Can you? Oh, you eat those up. Hmm. Now you want to push that over. I see. And push it over. And then push that one all over all the way to the right. Go to the left. No. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, that works. Oh, I was thinking of a different path. <laughs> hmm. Is that just in your way, I guess? That rock? Mm. No, it's more than in your way. Hmm. <laughs> so. This came in first out of 25 entries. Uh, it took him 14 days to program. Um, and he, it's in the extreme 256 category and written in fast basic 452. It is really nice looking. And I am 
so amazed that he was able to pack 20 levels into this, plus all the game code, plus all the graphics, and to be able to it's look at the time. whole game. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's treat time. Ah! <laughs> it's treat time. Just Poor push the rock and let kitties. it fall. Really? There we go. Treat time. Yeah, just push it. Yeah, but then I can't get the gun. I can't go like oh. this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That didn't help. Oh, good kitty. No, there is definitely something more to this. Hmm. Yum 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 yum. Treat time. Ring the bell. Good kitty. Oh, you're done. So an oh, eight. Oh, Mew. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Somebody said at the beginning of the show, <sighs> Tanya will want to keep playing the children. The children? Really? Yep. Vitoko probably. She said, watch out. <laughs> Uh-oh, can you hover over that? And I always forget what ban? You Just click it and then click ban. It's the line through. It's the no-go zone. Bottom left. This one? Yeah. Thank you. Good kitty. So the next one is Noxious. Yeah. Oh, you deleted. Oh, banned. Okay. Yeah, oh, good kitty. I threw it too early. Yep. <gasps> They're getting their treats. Stinky ding, treats. Ding ding. ding, ding, ding. Stinky treats are done. The last three. It's shoot the birds. Oh, I'm not moving. What's oh, going on? is it paddle? It's it? a paddle game, right? It? It's a paddle game. Is it? Uh, I'm guessing it's a paddle game. You didn't double check that. Did you say paddle? Yeah, same spam message every time. I know. Want to be The band hammer! Whack! Yep, here. Is it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow, it starts over. Ah, I'm terrible. I love the subtle color changes in the title on Noxious at the top. Ah! Like noxious Many gases. colorful, swaying, and noxious creatures attack you on your interstellar journey. Be faster! <laughs> the creatures appear oh. at different distances from both sides of the screen. They move from side to side, flapping their wings. Use the paddle controller to move your ship to the desired position. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, kitten. No more treats. I'm oh, sorry. What's going on? Oh, oh, terrible. Terrible note with note paddles. Note that you have limited range in the bottom. Those creatures are aggressive and they drop bombs as soon as they're on top of you. Keep moving. If you're fast enough, you could dodge the bombs by jumping through hyperspace. Oh. Oh, you, there's, there are edges, which is really... Oh, you, you go through the edges? No, 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 like... It makes it hard because you get stuck on one side uh, or the oh. other. Oh. That's really challenging. Ah. <laughs> Shoot them with your laser gun to clear your way. You can accurately shoot one by one or in bulk by using continuous shooting by holding the trigger. Uh, well, more and faster of them will arrive and they will be faster and faster. Farther creatures score more points. Psst, psst, psst. Back in. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? Score more points than the closer ones. There's additional bonus as they get faster. You only have one ship. The game is over if a bomb destroys your spaceship. Press the button to try again. Okay. Challenging. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Self-centering analog. Is it? It's kind of... It's a weird control scheme, isn't it? Because it's not absolute positioning with the paddle, is it? It's all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of... It's all over the place. Oh, Great yeah. colors. There you go. Twelve. Yeah, your range is not very wide, so you have to get used to that really fast. Ah, see, you oh. can't go further to the left. I was trying to go further. Yeah, and and you oh, have to. Goodness. Yeah, you have a very narrow range, so the baddies come in from way they, further on the screen. Oh, they get an advantage. They get a huge advantage. Very cool. I like the ah. colors too. 
52. And the noxious with the bright, like the, yes, the, the it color. brightens in the center. It's oh, so nice. The colors so nice. are so good in this. Now, <laughs> we were looking the other day at colors on oh, yeah. the Atari versus the Commodore 64. Yes, 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 yes. And how bad the Commodore 64 was. There's only 16 was. colors on Terrible. the Commodore 64. Terrible. Like literally 16. And there are 256 on the GTIA. Yeah. The, the the last implementation of the TIA on the on the computer line. Um, so there's so much more on the Atari. But then we got onto the topic of wh why did they choose the colors they chose? Yeah. For the Commodore 64. And I did a search, and they actually somebody found the person and ask them, <laughs> the guy, person who programmed, and picked the colors for the Commodore 64 and, and said, why did you choose those colors? Mm. And they're like, eh, it was, we chose eight of our favorites <laughs> and then the opposites on the color wheel, mm. which resulted in garbage colors. Yep. Garbage mm. colors. Some of them were kind of close to okay colors. Yeah, but... Mm. Most of the graphics mode can only use 128 of those 256. Yeah. yeah, there's limitations, but you have 256. So now we're into the, are we into the Matrix The yet? final two games, Woo Matrix games. The Matrix games. Exciting. Matrix the Red Pill. Wait. Okay, we will. <laughs> uh... This is Matrix the Red Pill. It was in the PUR80 category. Mm. I don't think this is what's supposed to happen. Oh, wait about 15 seconds while the wow. Matrix is being loaded. <gasps> wow. That's incredible. What am I doing? It's a joystick. Avoid those things. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. <laughs> it's like the diver. It's like the skydiver guy. Oh, you're on your last one? Yep. You didn't really tell me what I was doing, well, so no. I'll let myself All these die. Games. There we go. There we go. Oh, blue, blue screen. Nice. You have chosen the red pill. Now you need to find the path to enter the matrix. Wait about fifteen seconds while the matrix is being loaded. That's so interesting. Use the joystick to move your pill through the matrix code. You can only move left and to the right, so you have to anticipate quite a bit. Uh, avoid the highlighted code. Being hit by those will cost you a pill. You only have 10 pills in total. Mm. At first, there won't be many highlighted characters, but then they will increase as time goes on. When you run out of pills, the matrix will be halted and the score will be displayed. Press return to try again. This is such a brilliant use of the, the, of the matrix intro screen of characters um, oh. coming down the screen. Like the... Uh, That's pretty cute. The, not uh, the amber, the... What's the opposite of the amber one? It's just green? There's blue. There's like a bluey i always say the uh oh. they they look like nyquil like someone just took a nyquil pill oh not blue the and the red you know the old monitors yeah. that you could choose between amber and oh amber and green is it just green i think called so green okay well i don't know what it's called but go oh you got hit oh you it's got hit. so hard they're so dense right now the green rain is that the official name of this uh pattern that sounds about right oh oh, oh. so, <laughs> so slow I always liked the intro screen to the Matrix trilogy. The Green Rain, there it is, originally made from Japanese characters, but it evolved over time. I once thought it might make a good game theme and finally gave it a try. What a smart theme for a game mm. to incorporate the falling Green Rain. Uh, as Atari Basic is slow and it does not provide statements to manage PM graphics, I decided to use the same trick I used in other games like Deep Canyon and journeyed the golden mothership to define some string variables and change the system pointers to use the data directly from the variables. Ugh. So hard. By assigning data to them using string operations, I could change the screen buffer and players' bitmaps for PM graphics. Ah, My turn! The NyQuil DayQuil Pack. Yes. <laughs> 677. So you have to really plan ahead. Way plan ahead. Let's start moving immediately. Mm. There you go. So you can you can move. Oh God. Nope. Come on. 
Take a hit. Yep. Ah, uh, go run, run, little pal, run, run. Nope. <laughs> there tends to be like a column that's pretty blank, so you kind of want to get to it. Right. And then, uh, if you can. but then it starts to get really. Oh, look at this column. This sitting still. Thick. Oh God. Take a hit, maybe. Uh, nope. You have a lot of pills, which is good. You can kind of ride the line right up against mm -hmm. the line. Oh, Andy oh. Cat twenty eight says the highlighted code are lines of the type X go to X. I think. <laughs> X go to X. Oh go. So does it max out? With a, a certain, certain number, number of, of stars, yeah. it doesn't seem to be increasing anymore. No. Nope. All right. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It's a oh. pretty simple game. It's hard. Guess I should just let it die and see my score. Yeah. Run into as many as I can. Yeah. Do the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Yeah. One more. There you go. 576. Good job. Hooray. Excellent. Thought Matrix. And we're on to our Back last to the 90s. one. Of the night. Another Matrix one. Yep. What are we down to? 35! 35. 35. Red or blue. Matrix red or blue, and I believe this is a two-player game. Oh, excellent. Dude. And this one came in fourth place. It's a 120 line. Mm. It took him two days to make. <laughs> Whoa, deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. I'm blue. Oh my god. Look at that string of... What is going on? They're exploding now. Of course, I can't read anything because we both have to play. Oh, it makes it much harder because they explode. It's the, the dropping ones. Falling out of the sky. Why are they falling on you? On oh, there we go. So we can can we pass over each other or we it's a good question can i box you in <laughs> mm. force you up against like path of two oh no look at that we make a white film i took too many hits i think you might have cool mm-hmm so it's it's kind of the same game. It is, yeah. Because you're not really direct directly competing with each other. No, like you're you just can't influence dodging. each other. You're just trying to outlast the other person. Like the button is great. But there's the added bonus of these falling stars. Three hundred and forty nine lines only. <laughs> for all the games we played tonight. Wow. That's pretty cool. Of um, 80 to 256 characters each time. So you can dodge them in a fairly short amount of time if you, if you get right up against... Now there's two falling stars on the screen at a time. Ah. Oh, sound like a lot of hits there. Oh, the falling. <gasps> Yay, Victor! Victory! Nice. Uh, two people opted for different pills. Which one would be able to enter the matrix? Wait about five seconds. Players will play side by side. Use the joystick to move your pill through the matrix code. Every pill can only be moved left or the right. Each player starts with 10 pills. Avoid highlighted code. Being hit by those will cost you a pill. Be careful, Mr. Smith's code is also highlighted and appears anywhere in a rush. At first, there won't be many highlighted characters, but they will increase as time goes on. The bright of the normal characters will also gradually increase, making it harder to identify the characters to avoid. Oh, so the brightness changes? I didn't notice that. No player runs out of pills the matrix will be halted and the winner is the player with the least one pill left if there are no pills on the screen it was a draw press return to compete again 
So this came in fourth place, took two days in the this year's 2021 basic 10 liner contest. Very nice. That's so cool. Very, very nice. Yeah. Okay. Play one more. Yep. Proper game now I've read it. Oh, it's coming right for me immediately. Oh, is he? Oh, it's just the, the wide open. Mm. Got very bright lights in here. Still have both all of our pills. I don't you, know. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I think maybe you got here once. I oh, I got both here once. did, yeah. Or I did, yeah. Ah, it's forcing me over. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm blue. Tanya's red. Right, Time done. is up. That's 35 games done. Yay! Wow, it's really, really impressive. Uh, really list impressive. of games yes. that you have done, Vitogo. How does it feel to have that many games? Six years of your work <laughs> played in. Uh, it's a three wonderful hours. little mini game compilation, actually. Yeah, really so, good. So, um, which ones did I really, really like? I liked mm. uh, Deep Canyon. Uh, I didn't play Defensor, but it looked like fun. The Defender Which one was that? The Defender, yep. Um, Minipede and a Decipede, I liked quite a lot. Yeah, I enjoyed those. Uh, I, um, La Pest, I kind of liked too. Um, Mini Bros is very well done. It looked amazing. Um, the Wazers was really nice too. Didn't get to play that one, but that, one that looked really, fun. Really fun. Coronavirus was very challenging. Um, and I agree with the repeat after Simona winning because that oh, is yeah. so amazing. Impressive. That game is so impressive. That's really cool. And Patrol um, is very well done. Hubert was done. I played it terribly though. Yeah. Uh, the children was Excellent. very nice looking. They're all so good. And the Matrix ones were yeah. fun. Maybe Do a I bit have... easy. Do I have a favorite? I don't know. I Did you sketch. draw naughty bits? It was no. all naughty bits. <laughs> you all missed it. it. All of it, yeah. You'll have to rewind it. The audience demands an after dark with, with the children. With the children, it's yes. Very true. It's very true. Yep. We have to play that through. Yep. That is excellent. The children is really up there. Yeah. Um, repeat after Simona. I think I've really enjoyed. Like I, I'm yeah. scared to play it because it's it's hard. It is. But uh, the fact that you're combining the button and the up, down, left, right for different moves, yep. it's just really neat. And it, and I love that it's like a follow the workout. Yeah. So yeah. Jo Journey to the I'm Golden really Ship. With. Journey to the Golden Mothership. I yeah. really liked a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're all really good. Yeah. Good job, Vitoko. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, really good job. Mm -hmm. Like all of them. And, and it's impressive how diverse they are, too. They're not all... They're all very different games. Yeah. From shooters to puzzles to platformers. Um, it, every, everything is covered. All the basic... Yeah. All the basic type of games yeah. even magic cups like that's totally different than anything else i was gonna say that's well. that's the perfect game to play with audience participation yes because you can um, it has enough time There's you no could time you could there. um yeah yeah you could run bets with people yep. You can get and points. It's like, oh, it's like, oh that person did it first. Oh, but there's... And he cat owes us five uh, channel points. <laughs> no, just yeah. kidding. He got it wrong. But, um, uh, but that relies on that's delays. That's kind of fun. Well, that, but that's fine because you just yeah. pick it, right? They, they they give you a lot of time to pick that's the cup. True. So it's kind of fun. A timer for the wrap-up. Yeah, no kidding. Yep, yep. You got one more, one minute left for the yep. wrap-up. One and a half. <laughs> Is it still going? Oh, you can probably yeah. pause it there. Flop it back, yeah. Gone. Um, yeah, really great. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Gone. Boom. So, 
now I know how to use a timer <laughs> on yeah. the show if we need <laughs> yeah. to time time something else ever again. Yeah. It's the first time in three years to have three and a half hour show today. Well, we did have to show off thirty five games. So that's right. That's, that's a lot that's of games. That's quite a long show. Yeah, it is. What nine thirty? Yep. Sleepy time. Sleepy time <laughs> for a lot of people in the speed audience. Speed runs. It was a speed run. Five kind of. Speed run through 35 bang, games. Bang, 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 bang. Yep. But yeah. Um, good stuff. Thank you, Vitoko. Thank you for staying up as well um, to watch this. Yeah. Very intense Vitoko's marathon. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dan. Dan. Um, and thank you, everybody else who tuned in. Yeah. Andy Cat, RC70, uh, Phaser Charles Cat Whelan, games. Phaser Cat Games. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Let's see, Metal Lunar 7. Yep. Um, oh, F. Katrine. Yeah, F. Katrine is still in oh, the chat, too. Excellent, thanks. excellent. Rod Kassler, yep. CRC Error, Steps, Atariado. Yep. Thank you for telling people that it was going to be on the show as well. That's awesome. Um, Crossbow, Carl G. Oh, uh, Rendered Ghosts. Oh, Renner. He's goes. like, great show. I can sleep now. Yes, everybody can go to sleep now. Um, so coming up on the show, next show, we're going to do some more 8-bit stuff. Um, yeah. Because not many 2600 or 7800 games Not getting have come released. Out. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, some 8-bits have. We're going to be playing uh, Yump, which is actually a couple years old. Okay. Um, Invader, which is brand new-ish. Yeah. And um, Bruce Lee Return of Fury, which is a hack of Bruce Lee, which is also brand new as well. Mm. Um, I love Bruce Lee on the Commodore 64. I played it so much. Mm -hmm. So these are all new levels for that game. Oh, cool. So I'm really looking so forward to So you're going to just, I'm not going to be playing at all, is basically what you're saying. You're just going to be like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> yeah, Well, you can play it first, and then I'll take over. Yeah, there we go. Return of Fury is hard. Good. Yes. Good. I want it to be hard. I want it to be really hard. Nice. Um, because uh, the original Bruce Lee is medium difficulty. Yeah. I, I was able to beat that game. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be doing some other 8-bits in a couple weeks. Uh, at the latest, we'll be playing Scramble for 8-bit, mm -hmm. which I have the retail box for, so we'll be looking at the retail box. And also Time Pilot as well. Looks great. And then hopefully there'll be some 2600 and 7800 games in the meantime that pop up. Pop up, we can throw in. New versions or new games Excellent. that come up. Excellent. Um, same. In fact, I was working on it while watching the show. That's F. Franco Catrine. Of CLC 88. Oh. Of fame with CLC 88. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, very famous. Yes. Oh. Um, thank you for watching. Yes. Uh, so we'll be back on Friday. Friday. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back on Friday and some more 8 bit games. Hopefully, my cable should arrive by then. It'll look a slight bit better. Mm. Let's see when it's predicted to come here. Uh, 9th to the 11th. Mm. So the 10th is Friday. So there's a good chance I'll have the upgraded cable and it'll look a little bit better. Uh, nice. we'll look, uh, we'll be using S Video. Instead S video of, instead of Compass. Nice, yeah. excellent. Uh, because it's in Mississauga right now. Oh, Ontario. <laughs> yeah, but it's on its way here. Good. So thanks for hanging out uh with us tonight. Yes. And uh, or every Tuesday and Friday, and we're playing some more eight bit unless something massive comes up on Friday for some other system. Yeah. That's brand new. So we'll see you then. So bye bye. bye. Have a good night. See you on Friday. Have a good week. Bye bye. <laughs>